Alright, hey guys, welcome to the stream. How's everyone doing today? So, I just thought we'd play a Festus the Leech Lord campaign today because I don't think I've actually played him on Immortal Empires at least, so... Let's give it a shot. Warriors of Chaos are in a good state, so we can have some fun. I was also thinking that I might try this without establishing any vassals, but if it gets boring by not establishing vassals, then I'll get some vassals. We'll see how it goes. So I'll start off not gaining vassals, which means I'll occupy everything, which means I won't be able to defend everything. Um, so this won't be a no defeat campaign, that's for sure. But we'll just see. We'll just play around in the Empire and just have a jolly old time about it and not worry about hardcoring it too much. What's the occasion? Well, I'm back to live streaming kind of full time. So there's no occasion. This is just... I'll be live streaming a lot more over the next few weeks. Hey Legend, are you excited for Thrones of Decay? In terms of the content, yes. In terms of the next drama, no. <laughs> so, I'm both excited and also terrified of what's coming. I, I really hope that the content match matches the price. Please, please let the content match the price. We don't want, we don't want more problems. You know? If Thrones of Decay comes out and it's like... $20? $15? And it's got more content than Shadows of Change? Cool. I'll be happy. But if it's like, same meta content, same price, Creative Assembly being tone deaf, ugh, it's not fun to deal with that crap. This will be a regular live, another hot seat. This isn't a hot seat. There will be more hot seats coming, but they take a bit to organize, so we're, we are organizing the next one. Is the hot seat a success? And what's next? The hot seat was a success. Yes, I think so. It did what it was supposed to. To spare all ye realms, the Leech World has come. The sad days of this world are nearing their sum. <laughs> so if you attack this, can you not attack this? I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know. Pestilent. Like I said, I haven't played this one on Immortal Empires before. Festus, the Leech I don't think you need to worry too much. We're not at war with anyone but Hockland, right? And as long as I move kind of faster than... Okay, I think what we should do is this. We need to make sure we hit Hergig first. Because after we've taken out Hockland, we want to go to Middenheim. If I attack this army here, I don't know if I'll have enough movement to get to Hergig. And if this army survives and stands over here, it'll have seven additional units. Who cares? Who cares? Although, it's got nine units now, eight units there. Uh, I can pick up some units from here as well. Not really. It's not much. I really don't think I need to worry too much. I'll recruit a lord here. Oh, yeah, that'll smash him. Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll go straight for that. But Legend, you're supposed to attack this first. Now, nah, who says? Who says? We've got to plan it out. Better than what Creative Assembly sets you up to fail. It's quite possible we had enough movement to hit him and Hergink, but I just don't know. And I just don't think I need to risk it. If I had done some practice beforehand, maybe I would have risked it, but I didn't. Going in kind of blind. That's fine. Alright. I don't think this army stands a chance at capturing Bryce Keep. There's no need to worry there. He'll go over to Crudenwald and just start recruiting, but we'll be able to get from Hergig to Crudenwald and stop him, so that shouldn't be a problem. Alright, I think... Hang on. This map here... Let me just see this one. Garrett Ratchford did a five dollar super chat. Hang on. Yeah, yeah, we'll be fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we'll be fine. Um, Garrett Ratchford did a five dollar super chat. I had problems with the price of Chaos Wolves. Loved everything about the pack. The winds of change, though, just feels thin. Can't pin down where. Yeah, you mean shadows of change? But yeah. Yeah, thanks to chat, dude, yeah. You forgot to pull a disease? 
I did indeed. I don't think it would make any difference, though. Giant Doomstack. Actually, Giant Doomstacks with Festus is really good. Yeah, Warriors of Chaos um, uh, Giants are re really quite good. I know that I spent like six years shitting on Giants, but they finally got buffed enough that they're, they're worth it. Actually worth it now. Uh, what's your opinion on Starfield? I like it. I can understand why people criticize it, but I like it. I really like it, but I understand the criticism for it. So I'm not going to defend it. But I, I really like it. I enjoy it in my spare time. That's all that matters. Okay. This is their blind spot. When have giants been viable? Um, since the Warriors of Chaos reworked it, because there's a lot of things you can do to increase their missile resistance. Plus they've got missile resistance as, as base. Alright, so we've got healing elixirs, so yeah, alright, this is, we can actually waste their ammo. Should I be wasting their ammo? Well, the problem is if I don't waste their ammo, we're going to take a lot of damage. There's three units of crossbows. Oh my god, he's cheesing already! Somebody stop him! It's just too easy to cheese. It, now, it is on very hard battle difficulty, so you might be wondering why are they shooting. It is on very hard battle difficulty. So it turns out that if a unit of archers is on a wall or a barricade, they'll shoot at the first thing they see. So it sort of throws the difficulty out the window. Yeah, so what I want to do here, just I don't want the giant getting absolutely destroyed. Oh, do you, we could actually use the mortis engine. Maybe I should do this first. Let's get a little bit of healing in. We could um, use the Mortis Engine effect to just it just win. Of course, that's that's slow. Because we want to make sure we don't take too much damage. Because I'm going to be outnumbered in the next battle. Quality will be on our side. Forgot to move the giant unit. Oh yeah, <laughs> he's, he's, he's sitting there. They're vulnerable. Oh my god, rusty AI and rusty legend. Then again, Rust is that not what uh, Nurgle likes. Can the giant attack walls? Yes, I wanted to attack the walls. I want to bash through here because I don't want to go through the gate. But, I, okay, the giant should be fine to come in now. There we go. Come on in. Alright, I don't need to worry too much about magic. Like conserving it. So, let's do some of this. Now, funny thing here is like we're playing as Warriors of Chaos Nurgle. Now, the demons of Nurgle, they're bad. They really suck. But Warriors of Chaos Nurgle, really quite strong. Because it all comes down to the campaign mechanics. Warriors of Chaos Nurgle, just really strong. Actually, don't mind trolls either. Either, um... This. Cool, so Festus is inflicting a fair bit of damage. Alright, let's switch this over. And yeah, you could just park Festus by the wall and he'll just destroy everything. With the, uh, the Harbinger of Pestilence. Trying to get Festus surrounded, that's not ideal. Easy win. Bring in the trolls. Are Slanesh Chaos Warriors worth getting, or are they kind of outshined by the demons? Oh, they're okay. There's nothing particularly special about the Slanesh ones, but they're okay. It's like, it's like a medium choice. You're not, it's not, not bad to get them. They're just not fantastic, that's all. Hmm. 
No, this isn't a hot seat this time. There'll be more hot seats coming, but they take a little bit to organize, that's all. So I switched it over to regen. It's okay if we take a little bit of damage. But yeah, these abilities here is really bloody good for Festus. Especially because you got them on turn one. How's everyone doing today? How was your weekend? Everyone doing well? Everyone counting down the days? It's almost upon us. Just four more days until Pharaoh early access. Wow! Hope you're all excited. All 3% of you. <laughs> oh, here he starts again straight away. Yeah, I'd rather you not take casualties. Just... Yeah, you can just stay right there. Yeah, you go. He's a good boy. Do you ever get tired of Warhammer 3? Oh yeah, all the time. Absolutely. That's why I take breaks all the time. You got to. Because yeah, you, can, you will get tired of it. Absolutely. Actually, the trolls will be good for dealing with that. I'm just gonna come over here. Yep, that's it. Should be inflicting army losses any moment. There we go. Yeah, I know it's going too well. All right, let's just recover to full health, just in case we get counterattacked by anyone, which I don't think we will. But let's just check anyway. Uh, is Pharaoh using the armor degradation mechanic and the fatigue mechanic? That seems really annoying, to be honest. Um. I, I don't know 100%, but I would imagine so. Um, the armor degradation mechanic seems really gimmicky. I don't think you need to even... I think the armor degradation mechanic is something that you can pretty much just ignore. Based on based on what... Oh, what happened here? What's up, casualties? Nah. Um, yeah, look, I don't know. Like, I'm not, I'm not really looking at that kind of stuff with Pharaoh. It just, it all seems kind of gimmicky. Do I enjoy Jim Jeffries? Yeah, yeah, he's not my favorite comedian, but I, I do enjoy the odd Jim Jeffries special. What diplomacy bug do you consider the biggest one overall Total War games? Probably what you can do in Rome Total War and, and Medieval 2, where you can um, demand so much money that it actually... It's such a huge negative, it ends up being a positive, and basically ask for their entire empire in a single turn. Ab the Man 100 did a five dollar super chat. After Cathay got Celestial Generals and then Magistrate got their overhaul, which lords do you now prefer when playing as Cathay? I probably still prefer the Celestial Generals, but the Magistrates definitely have their purpose. I really don't think there is a right or wrong choice with it. Uh, they definitely balanced out the Magistrate to be a lot better. Yeah. So now, if you know, you send me a disaster battle and you've got a Magistrate, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give you shit over it. Hmm. I'll only get souls if I do that. That's fine. Alright. Plague. What do we have available to us? I don't think any of it was going to make any difference. Casualty replenishment rate. Growth. That doesn't matter. <laughs> Not really. Oh, I could put that on the settlement though. Uh, souls gain from battles. That's not terrible. Oh, missile resistance could be good. 
Alright, Festus Palsy. Let's go with that. Okay. Alright, is he gonna make it to... Yeah, he'll make it to there, so we don't need this this turn. This that's our next fight. Uh, we could also pop down at the Brass Keep. This, uh, this one here. Yeah, why not? I got the infections. We'll get more. Whatever. There we go. Because that'll give us extra growth. It's not bad. Uh, Musa Malak did a final super chat. Love you, legend. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing well. Thanks for the super chat. Appreciate you. Do you ever listen to Frenchie? No, I'm not familiar with Frenchie at all. Okay, so that building there, yeah, then we can leave that. Um, leadership for Marauder Horsemen, yeah, yeah. Let's okay. Let's not worry about that so much right now. Let's get the. Hang on. Let's have a look at what we can get here first. So we can get growth per region after winning a battle, or yes, we should get that one. And then there's this one here, Ruinous Bulwark. We should get both of those. But, ooh, it's going to be bloody close. I mean, we're going to fight battles. Maybe I should do that next turn, because I already... I should have done that first. Whoops. Uh, all right, let's just do... Oh, I, sh I, I really should have done that one. <laughs> uh, uh, I'll d yeah, no, no one's going to attack me. I'll, just, I'll do it next turn. That, that way I'll save on, um, I'll save on souls. Alright, so let's get that one. I don't, I'm not going to worry about growth, because honestly, we're going to be fighting enough battles that we'll get the growth that way. So, let's get... Are we able to dedicate to Nurgle with these? I don't think we can. Hmm. I don't like we need a sorcerer right now. It also give us income from all from the building, fifty thirty uh, percent. So yeah, let's just do that. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, we're not in any any serious rush to grow it, I think. And then over here we got. Let's have a look. Probably the growth one would be best. Yeah, go with the growth one. Okay. Okay, and technologies. Let's have a look here. Nurgle Authority plus one for each active gift of Nurgle. Now, for the undivided tech tree, that tech is bugged. It doesn't work at all. So let's test to see if it works with this. Our authority at the moment is five. Four from characters, one from faction. So we're getting Festus Palsy. That's, that's where we're getting the faction one. So he's getting three from here. And probably one from this guy. Ooh. Interesting. He's like a special one. I'm gonna save him. Yeah, who cares about diplomatic relations with Empire? That's interesting. It's not, not that big of a deal, but unearthly reflex is good. Uh, Path to Glory, yeah, he can't do anything else. What do we got? Blight, so he didn't get the regen. That's okay. They don't need that one. Uh, what else was I doing? Yeah, technologies. Okay, let's go with this. Or should we go that one? No, we'll go with that one first. And there's nothing else to recruit, but I want to recruit another Lord. Which, I don't have enough money, so I'm going to have to cancel one of these. Cancel that, that's not urgent. I wanted to recruit... Yeah, these Chaos Lords, I'm fairly sure they can't dedicate to Nurgle. So we should always recruit a Chaos Sorcerer Lord of death. So that we can always turn them into a Nurgle Lord. Because I'm pretty sure that... I don't think... Maybe Shadows can, but I think we need to recruit... Yeah, this one. Yeah, yeah, that'll be fine. Alright, let's do that. Now, they don't have multiple armies, so they're not going to be able to do anything about it. Could have recruited them up here, there's two units, but I'm not going to worry about it. I want them standing next to each other. 
In fact, why doesn't Festus stand outside the settlement? That way, there's no way for them to besiege and, and like, and try to attack this guy. It's just not going to be possible for them. We also have a unit of Nurglings there. And that's all. Ugh, whatever, I'm not going to recruit Nurglings just yet. Okay, and, yep, that's fine. I don't think we're going to be able to do anything diplomatically. All good, let's move on. He's the son of the Electric Count of Hockland? Okay, cool. Can you build an outpost if you're allied with the Changeling? I actually have no idea. I've never allied with the Changeling, so I just I have no clue. I would assume so. But then again, he doesn't own any sentiments, so maybe not. Mark the units to reduce upkeep? Yes, I should have done that. You're absolutely right. There's no sense in not marking them. We're going to go full Nurgle. Why wouldn't we? Why is the Empire besides Reichland so helpless? CA says. I don't know. Just that's how it is. Bless you, my little Nalgwen. You fight well. Okay. Which one did that get? Festus Ague. Okay, that's good. That's good. Uh, grant three units to mark. Oh, good. We should have waited because now we can get increased movement for a few turns. So, yes. Let's do this. Oh, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Oh, no. It should be fine. <laughs> Marauders or great weapons? Let's see. Armor piercing. We're not really going up against a lot of armor piercing, so... And since there's a big difference in upkeep costs. Same melee attack. It's it's really just higher weapon strength. So we'll go with regular Marauders of Nurgle. And these Chaos Warriors of Nurgle here. Let's switch them to be... Let's see. This, this is just a regular Chaos Warrior. Uh, switching him to be... I reckon just regular. We're not we're not going up against heavily armored targets. We can always just switch it if we're going up against dwarfs. It's not a problem. And then can I have some bile trolls? Ah, oh, what? Not in the game yet. I reckon bile trolls is a unit that's coming for um, uh, what's it called? For thrones of decay. I reckon it for warriors of chaos. You'll be able to turn your chaos troll into a bile troll. So that'll be good. I'd be very surprised if they didn't give it that unit, unless of course they've got other DLC planned, which they might. Lots of FPS drops today. Is there red alert? No, no, no. We haven't dropped any frames whatsoever. Nope, that's not been happening. Oh, maybe if I just close a few tabs, that might help a little bit. Yeah, that might help a little bit. We'll see how that goes. Harry Selwood dropping down a 50 pound super chat. Love your content. Keep it up. No, thank you, dude. Um, so, like 50 pounds is very generous. I mean, that's fucking Total War Pharaoh right there. <laughs> so much it cost. But yeah, I really appreciate that. I should have gotten. Well, should I have gotten that? Really? I mean, I'm not. I don't have any Marauder Horsemen right now. That's not bad. But I think I just leave it because I'm probably gonna lose it at some point. Okay, we really want to get to mid and home want the uh, sweet, sweet Dark Fortress. Then I think there's one at Nuln. I think that's another Dark Fortress. Then there's none in Bretonia. Uh, there's none for a long time, actually, so you're not really incentivized that much to going south, but you can just make money from winning battles. Right, that reminds me. We need to do this before I forget. And we need to do this. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, we, get, we want to resolve... No, we, we want to find it manually because I want to keep moving. But actually, let me just see if there's any more units to recruit. Because money's not terrible. Yeah, let's uh, 
turn it to Nurgle. Cool. Prague is a dark fortress? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. That's right. But I'm in the Empire. Yep. Okay, let's go. Thank you for the content, man. It's so much of you to stream three days in a row. I didn't stream three days in a row. I didn't stream yesterday. <laughs> man, it's September nearing October, and it's in the 30 Cs. I'm so annoyed at this weird weather. It's probably starting to heat up for you. Yes, it is starting to heat up for me. But it's, it's midnight here, so it's not going to be too hot. Which is why I got a jumper on. I actually got my major kill jumper on. 50k. I'm number I'm fuckhead number 17. This is limited edition major kill merch. <laughs> you fucking ripped me off, bitch. It's really comfortable. I tell you what, I think this cost $50, and I definitely got more use out of this than Total War Pharaoh. Then I will add a total war pharaoh. Alright. There's no sense in standing here. Let's move up to the next position. We're not we're not a defensive faction. But what we should do with Festus is try to use up his magic as much as possible. And also wait for our reinforcing lord. You should just hang back. So now the Giants have 45% Missile Resistance. <laughs> and you can get it higher than that too. Oh shit, they got mortars! Um, okay, just charge. Don't worry about him. What's he gonna do? Okay, you need to go around the other way. You go flank around this way. You charge on in. Oh wow, they're shooting at literally the worst target. Well, not the literal worst target, but they're shooting at a really bad target there. Ah, oh, damn it. Trolls are here. I mean, um... God, of course the trolls are there. And the knights are there. Need to get out those mortars. Luckily they're going after the trolls, that's good for us. switch just yet. Okay, need to get these over to those mortars. They haven't killed anyone yet, but they're doing some damage. Down some healing. No, not yet, not yet. Soon, but not yet. Just a little bit longer. Trying to get at these. There we go. Getting at get the mortars before they got a kill. Cool, cool, cool. Not yet, not yet. Keep the heals up. 
Uh, sorry, the damage. I'm not doing killing yet. Alright. Yeah, see, now the giant, the, it can block so much of the enemy missile attack, it's considerably more durable. Okay, the Marauders are taking a ton of damage, but that's what they're there for, really. Okay, need to stop some of these. Alright, time to switch. Alright, it's also time to pull these guys back. They've taken too much damage now. It's time to pull them back. Let the Chaos Warriors have some fun. Let's pull them back. Just so we don't end up being completely smashed with them. Pull them back. All good. No need to keep them in the fight any longer. The battle is definitely won. Can't revive any from death. So there's no need to have them near Festus. And that way we somewhat spread out the damage a bit. Bit even, a bit better. AI Festus died at turn 40 in my Bellicor campaign. Can I revive him? I believe that Festus can't be revived. Sorry. I don't think he can be revived. Oh, this one got pincered. That's the army losses. Cool. I think that went pretty well. Alright, now we need to take all the single entities and... Just keep them around Festus so we can get healed. Although I'm not anticipating any problems. Don't need to run anyone down because they're all just going to die anyway. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, does Festus have best giants, or is there another faction with better giant buffs? I gotta say Festus probably best uh, giants because you've got a plague that's available straight away, which we've got on us right now. That prov okay, so it goes like this: missile resistance is probably the best stat for Chaos Giants, right? And in Warhammer One and Two, you just couldn't give them much missile resistance. But now they have base fifteen percent. Plague can give you an additional fifteen percent. You get Shatterstone ability, which comes with additional fifteen percent. And then I think in this in the Red Tree, you can get even more missile resistance. I'm fairly sure you can get their missile resistance up to ninety five percent with a few heroes. So. That makes Chaos Giants really useful, especially considering you can now heal them. What's your opinion on the hardest campaign in Warhammer 3? Oh boy. Um, probably Boris. Boris Bocker. Uh, I think that would be the hardest campaign in Warhammer 3. Feel free to correct me if you think I'm wrong. That or, or uh, Festus. Not Festus. Um, uh, Kugath. Can other Chaos Legendary Laws be revived? Yes. I have personally revived Valkyria before in the Chaos Waste. It's not in her starting region, though. Um, I Archeon can be revived. I think Bellacor can be revived at Albion. Um... I think Village can be revived. I think. I'm not sure. Colette can definitely be revived. I'm not sure about Sigvold. I don't think Azazel can be revived. I'm just not sure, though. Hmm. Tempting to subjugate. But I'm going to try and do this without having any vassals for a bit, and just see how we go. Could raise, but I think we're pretty good for souls, for now. <laughs> i got four turns worth. Thing is, as we spread the plagues, we'll get plenty of souls. Yeah, I think I'll just occupy it. Mm. Yeah, I'll just occupy it. Definitely not the, the correct move to make, though. Alright, next up, Middenheim, which we should be fine to deal with. We're going to be mostly at full strength. Cool. 
This guy's got a plague. Nice. Alright, are you gonna make it there next turn? Cool, we don't need the extra campaign movement range then. It would be good to get the Children of Nurgle, and Str Stream of Corruption's really good. Let's get that. And you, you just focus on your stats for now. And you... Alright, Path to Glory happens at rank 5, but it costs a fair bit of souls. That's fine. In the meantime, just try to keep up. Let us corrupt. My lord Yeah, I'm just gonna leave that as it is. Okay, we can upgrade this. Yep, get us more money, that's good. Alright, do we wanna pop any of this down? Nah. Nah, we're good. Okay, and we want... We don't need growth here, so that's kind of useless. Although plague duration is not bad. I wonder, because I popped this plague down... Well, I can probably set it up later. Um, why don't we go with... Yeah, spread the rot. So at Crudenvold, probably just build this. I don't see any need for any of these other ones. Just put some extra defenses in there. Does that get, make it a minor sentiment battle when we do that? No. Just check to see if there's anything. No. Alright. Fucking Toddy is next. How many units have we got in here? Yeah, it's not going to get much. Should be fine. I don't see any problems there. Do you ever go for demon princes when playing as Warriors of Chaos? Oh yeah, for sure. Absolutely. I like to have a mix of um, of different types of lords, actually. I think that the way the Warriors of Chaos work now, it actually... Having all of your armies be exactly the same is not really the way to go due to the, the warband system. So I try to specialize all my armies differently. I think... Um, I think something happened there. It might have been, um... What's his face? Disable taxes for better public order? Yep, that's probably a good idea. I don't think... Yeah, that's probably a good idea. There's no need to tax it. You're absolutely right. So it looks like... It looks like this settlement actually got sacked or something. I'm not sure. It's not under siege, is it? Doesn't look like it. No, it's time to siege. Well, let's go score ourselves another city. Yeah, it looked like it got sacked. Would Kazrak's fucked there. Can you just give me all your money? No, they don't do it anymore. <laughs> Why fix that? That was fun. They used to not value money in diplomacy, but now they do. But why? Give me all your money, bitch. Alright. Let's do it. Hang on, hang on. Why don't I offer to join war with them? Yeah, and you... Oh. I definitely don't want an alliance with him. Fuck that. I want to be able to bash him whenever I see him. It's not a bad trait. Better for the Skaven, though. Better for the Beastmen as well. How do Nurgle Demon Princes fare against other Demon Princes? Not too bad. N Nurgle Demon Princes are pretty good. Super tanky. Very high uh, yeah, durability. Uh, I think we can get away with an order resolve here. Yeah, that wasn't so good. But our replenishment's not, not so bad, so we'll recover pretty quick. But yeah, manually resolve would have gone a lot better. Considering how badly damaged they were, but whatever. Um, decisive victory in my ass. Anthony Mazuris became a new member. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. Uh, do you think stealing heroes should be fixed or implemented into some sort of feature? I think it should be fixed. Yeah, it doesn't... Yeah, I think it should be fixed. 
But I also don't care. It's a lot of effort to do it, and it's not really worth it in most cases, so I don't think it matters that much. It shouldn't be a top priority for Creative Assembly to do it, um, but I, I don't think it's something that needs to be in the game, but I also don't care. Okay. So, if I popped... Oh, we've got this here. Uh, if I pop down this one, we can get extra growth on Middenheim. Uh, that costs 50 extra to use it. Base, nah, that's... Nah. Nah, uh, then again, I've got... Nah, it's just not that impactful, really. I'm just gonna go with that. Okay. Alright, I probably should have recruited before we attacked. But I suppose I can just... Yeah, just do that, whatever. Uh, actually, no, no, no. I'm not, I'm not rolling around it with loads of cash right now, so let's just wait. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, let's move on. I don't see anything that needs to be done. Have you watched the newest SFO trailer? It seems like it fixes so much of the lacking DLC while helping races like Returning and Norskin a lot. I haven't seen that newest trailer. But it doesn't surprise me that they would be doing that. You know, Venris puts in a lot of effort in SFO. And it shows. Fair success, full access to the plagues. Yep. Full access to the plagues. Thing is, I don't consider the plagues to be a very interesting mechanic. But it's not bad. I mean, you might as well use it. It doesn't cost you anything to do it. It's just the infections. Yep, it's bugged. Okay, look at that. So, remember how I said before that the, the undivided Chaos Tree, the Nurgle Authority plus one for each active gift of Nurgle doesn't actually do anything? This is correct here. So, this, this didn't do anything. At the very start of the campaign, I showed that Nurgle Authority was at five. It didn't go up at all. But we have, we have a, a Nurgle um, gift active. So, this is something that has been in the game now for a whole year. I've told Creative Assembly about this, and it's bugged. It's bugged. This is like one of their primary mechanics, and it's just bugged. Too hard! Too hard! It, do, you know why it's, do you know why it's fucked? It's because it doesn't have a tag. If we have a look... Do you see how it says here, All Authority plus One, All Armies? It doesn't have a fucking tag, all armies. And so it goes nowhere. <laughs> it's, it's, just, it's just missing a fucking tag. It's a database issue. <laughs> what are you, you going to do? <laughs> what are you going to do? It's too hard. Pay me more money. Maybe they'll fix it with the, um, the next DLC. Alright, and this one here. Um, I think this one does work. Yeah, look, look, battle healing cap plus 10% for each active gift of Nurgle. All armies. That's not bugged. Yeah, that one's not bugged. This one's bugged, but that one's not. Kono van der Vender did a 5 ball super chat. You speak a lot of mechanics that aren't interesting, which is valid, but which, what mechanics do you find are well fleshed out in Warhammer 3? Um... Um... I'm not sure. Like, there's quite a few, I think, that are quite good, but um, nothing that's coming to mind right this very second. Whoa, Thanks for Super Chat. Like, give me an example, and, I'll, uh, and I'll, um, I'll let you know if I think it's uh, well fleshed out or not. Otherwise, I'm going to be sit here bloody listing out stuff constantly, so I'd rather just not do that. Uh, okay, mid and stag, let's go. So what this guy here is doing is just tagging along, getting experience. 
Because they don't need a second army, but we don't have supply lines, so it doesn't cost much, so... We might as well tag along and get experience. Corn? Yes, all the corn stuff is good. Yes, absolutely. All the corn stuff is... Quite good. Maybe you should have had him launch the attack. No, that's fine. Alright, at mid and home, we're probably going to need defenses at some point, but... No, we're good for now. Throts Mutation Lab is a good example. Yes, that's a good one. Yep, that's a good example. Alright, we need to fight this manually or else this one here is going to die. We don't want to lose any units right now. Uh, let me just quickly check to see what's available this turn. That's another thing for Festus, is all your best units are going to be out in the Chaos Wastes. You're not going to get really interesting units down here, it's just all going to be Marauders. The weak need not apply. You know, we're getting some experience up in here, so it's better than nothing. This guy here trains them just a little bit. It all adds up. Do you think Thrones of Decay is going to cost as much as Shadows of Change because CA is doing bug fixes? Um, I... Okay. I, I can't predict the future. I'm not in communication with CA about this kind of stuff. I wanted to have a conversation with them about pricing, and they didn't want to have that conversation with me, which is fair enough. So, if I had to guess, I would say that the, the Thrones of Decay is going to cost 25 US dollars. If I had to guess, I don't see any reason why they wouldn't do it. Because from, from what I've found out from internal leaks, if you can even call it leaks, uh, from internal sources at CA, is that despite the backlash with Shadows of Change, it actually made more money than previous DLC. It probably didn't make as much as Forge of the Chaos Dwarfs, but comparing it to maybe um, the Champions of Chaos, I think it made more money than it. But again, I'm not 100% sure if CA wants to come in and correct me on that, by all means. So if they made more money on it, that will probably encourage the short-sighted devs, short, uh, to do it more. But I, again, I just don't know. Do you know how much of the community bug fix mods cost? Zero Nanari. Yep, that's correct. That's, yep, that's right. But here's the thing. Creative Assembly probably just looks at the bug fix mod being existing and just says, Oh, look, if you've got a problem with the bugs, just download the mod. <laughs> the mod's fixed our game. So why do we have to do it? Maybe. I don't know. I just don't know. I just... People ask me about my insights at Creative Assembly, and I honestly, what they do baffles me. It doesn't make sense to me. But they do it. I don't know. They do these things, and they just, it just baffles me. Okay, this guy's on horseback now, so that's good. And we'll send you in. He's got a nice high ground here. We want to... Hold on to that. No mortars this time. Only one archer unit, which is nice. Running around them like this is good. Alright, pop this down. Is Festus your favorite in the DLC? Um, yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, Nurgle, Nurgle for the Warriors of Chaos is really good. I quite enjoy it. Serve the Plague Father. Pestilent 
So I'll try to keep the particularly damaged units in reserve for now, so they have some time to recover. Sure, this one is targeting the Lord. I'm actually really looking forward to playing with Bile Trolls, assuming we get them. Surely we'd get Bile Trolls with the Nurgle, with uh, Thrones of Decay. I think that'd be really good for the Warriors of Chaos. Just Chaos Trolls with the Mark of Nurgle, essentially. Because the Warriors of Chaos got some little goodies with the uh, latest DLC. They got a few little goodies here and there. Okay, you guys are taking a bit too much damage. Let's pull you back. Okay, now we're getting red alerts. Yeah, now, now we're getting some choppiness. Yeah, now we're getting a bit of it. It, sh it should be recovering. If that number is high, above like 10,000... Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, a bit of choppiness. We're losing some frames here. So it's not my computer. It's the um, it's the internet. Okay, it's fixing itself up. There we go. We got the green dot. We're good. We're good. We're good. Battles on my server. Taken. I don't think we've taken a single casualty yet. Staying around Festus is constantly getting healed. Just not taking damage, which is exactly what we want. There we go. I enjoy your economic analysis of this game and also real life. Legend of Finance. When? Uh, never. Look. People don't want to take financial advice from a YouTuber, so. This is not going to do that. You might not have inside infinite information from CA, but you always have good understanding of the situation, be able to properly explain the reasoning behind CA actions. I mean, I, I just assume things because, and, and when new information comes to light, I try to correct myself, but I don't, I, tr I do try to let you guys know that I don't know for sure. I just sort of guess these things. Need some bigger battles. Um, could raise it. Good for we're good for um we're good for a little while. Festus, the Lich Lord. Yeah, and the more of these we have, the more Nurgle corruption we've got. And the more Nurgle corruption, the more we'll start seeing some Nurgle units showing up, which is good. So Yeah, it's fine. Alright. 
Let's get Rue Mancha now. I look forward to the next patient. Yeah, I think Chaos Command is good. Let's go with that. Extra melee defense is face. good. Yep. The gods smile. Cool, everything's growing pretty quick. As long as we keep fighting battles, we probably won't yeah, be able to get a battle next turn. Unless this guy here is able to launch the attack. That might be able that might be able to do it. Then Festus can just force march. That's probably um oh, he's probably gonna blow it up, isn't he? I can always declare war on him. Yeah, I don't need him hanging around. That's not bad. I think I'll give it to this guy though. This guy sees more action. Yeah, I don't see much point in building that when growth is so easy to get as Nurgle. Just don't see the point. Cool. Alright, nothing else to do here. I mean, we could check diplomacy, but I doubt there's anything there. Oh, nah. Nah. What? Nah. Okay, all good. Let's move on. Should I get another lord? Nah, let's save up some money. I don't believe they made more money. Story from CA. Player numbers were way below 50% of past DLC. It would make sense to people who paid to play the DLC at least a bit. Not the case. Look, I'm only reporting what I've heard. Okay? I would have thought as well that they didn't make as much profit. But from the sources that I've got, apparently they made a tiny little bit more money than before. Now... In my opinion, I think that in the long run, they've hurt their business because they've turned people away from the game. There's fewer people playing it now. Oh, God. That's a bit of an issue. There's fewer people playing it now than there were before. So, they might, if they keep this up, they'll find that their sales numbers are going to go down. So, I don't necessarily think it was a good business decision. But, you know, what do I know? Now, what do I know? I think it was a very dumb business decision to charge people that much for the DLC. I think it was very dumb. Okay, okay, well... I did want to fight a bigger battle, but that's maybe beyond us a little bit. We can definitely hit them this turn, but I'd have to force march Festus. Probably not the best idea. Do we have any more units here? Yeah, I've got one. Is there anything... Yeah, okay. Dominance. Well, it's not like these are going to be great units. We're also not at full strength. This is going to be mostly goblins. I think I'm just going to do it. Yeah, I'm just gonna do it. In my stead. Now they will see I don't need every troop I can get through it. Is it my fight? None. Time to have some balls! Alright, let's see what it we got. Corrupt. Hey, I know, Kazrak, why don't you join with me? No, I'm not gonna do it. Gold. Ring ruin. Uh, uh, we've got. No, 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 don't worry about it. Oh, no, we'll be fine. We'll be fine, right? Bones. Fair few goblin archers, actually. No, we'll be fine. We got Mr. Resistance. I have the power of anime and Jesus on my side. What can they do? This guy's got loads of magic. Oh shit, I wasn't expecting that. Well, I don't want to lose this unit, so I will fight it manually. Have you taken off the advantages the Super U gets? No, they've got maximum cheats.
And I can prove it when I get into it. What if Pharaoh shocks us all and it's better than Warhammer 3? Okay. You know. When the sun shines up my ass and the rainbows go upside down and pigs start flying and all this kind of shit, you know, that's when Pharaoh will be better than Warhammer 3. But, let's just say hypothetically that it does happen. Oh my god, Pharaoh ends up being like just the, the biggest underdog ever and it's a smashing success. Well then, you know, I'm not so stubborn as to admit when I'm wrong in the face of overwhelming odds. I'll admit I was wrong. I just don't think it's the case. I just don't think it's going to be the case. Seems very unlike. Look, I've been watching a, a lot of gameplay of Pharaoh. You know, when I need to go to sleep. <laughs> I've been watching some ga gameplay of Pharaoh. It's not engaging. It's not interesting. I get very bored watching it. It's not an interesting game. For me personally. Um, I would be very, very surprised if if um, Pharaoh surpassed Warhammer 3 for anything more than one or two days on launch. That's it. It might get 20 to 30,000 concurrent players on the first day or so, um, but then it'll it'll decay to 5,000 really quick. Because it's just like Troy. It's just more Troy. People are going to have the same... Ex it's just going to... History is fucking repeating itself, dude. This is the thing. Like, I've gone through this before. I mean, this is Thrones of Britannia Part 2. Because what they're doing is they're ripping off the <laughs> the player base with a game that they've already got. It's just a ripoff. Some people can't see through that. And they're the, I feel really sorry for them because I'm trying to warn them that they're about to get ripped off. In my opinion. But some people will like, you take Thrones of Britannia for example, some people genuinely love Thrones of Britannia and that's fair enough. But I think it's just a really niche game and I think Pharaoh is going to be a very niche game. I think that there are some people that are going to really like Pharaoh, okay? I don't think it's going to be universally disliked, but I think that, I think that it's not that the game is bad, it's that the game isn't good. That's what I think is the problem, is that it's not as good as what they've done in the past and therefore why bother buying it? That's what I think it is. It's not that it's not that Pharaoh is bad. It's that it's not good, and they need to release a good one, especially after Warhammer Three. Um, Oscar Shepard, uh, ten dollars super chat. Hey, legend. On a scale from one to ten, what's your favorite number? Pharaoh looks mid, by the way. Uh, five. Thanks for super chat. Appreciate you. Or nine, whichever. All right, what am I doing? Alright, Festus, you go up ahead and... No, that's no, not Festus, that's Festus. You know what? That's Blob. We are a blobby faction, aren't we? How much missile resistance does this one have? 30, okay. Is there a light at the end of the... Tunnel for Total War fans, do you think? Yeah, I do think... Look, we've been through this before. Like I said, history tends to repeat itself with Total War. You get you get a big slump where Creative Assembly is greedy and they produce low-quality stuff. You know, Rome 2 as an as a example of when this has most recently occurred. Um, and then they have a few games that don't sell well and then they up their effort. So what's going to happen, I think, is that Creative Assembly is trying to squeeze as much money out of the player base while doing as little work as possible because that's industry standard or whatever um, and it's going to backfire on them very soon and then they'll get the wake up call that they need and then actually make like a good Total War game you know hopefully the next one because otherwise they're just not going to compete they're going to get kicked out of the market they're killing the, their own market for these games. Because, like, as a Total War fan, I'm not buying Pharaoh. I don't want to buy it. I am the only constant. And if I... If there was another good Total War game, I totally would buy it. But I'm not buying Pharaoh. Because it's not... It's... I don't want it. Okay. 
Do you think we have a chance for Total War Lord of the Rings? Um, I think there's a chance, but it's one of those things that you just have to take a guess and just wonder because I've heard no inside information about it. So it might happen, it might not. I just don't know. If you had asked me 10 years ago if we were going to get a Total War Warhammer, I thought I probably would have thought that we weren't going to get one. But here we are. So you never know. Maybe 10 years from now we'll be here playing Lord of the Rings and I'll be running around the map with Aragorn, hitting them with ghost magic attacks or whatever. Who knows? Cheesing, cheesing Mordor. Oh, Legend, fight honorably. Aragorn is supposed to do this. <laughs> Who knows? I'll be honest, I see Blizzard fans saying the same stuff and nothing changed. We will see if people really don't buy. Yeah, okay, so there's a... Okay, here's the big difference between um, Creative Assembly and Blizzard. Alright, Blizzard are true scumbags, okay? Creative Assembly doesn't hold a candle to, to um, Blizzard scumbaggery. But the thing is with Blizzard games is that they are mostly good games that are just really scum uh, business practices. So Creative Assembly is way lighter on the on the scum business practices, but they are way heavier on the let's not give a fuck about our game side of things. Creative Assembly uh, is really focused on releasing trash every year, <laughs> whereas Blizzard will make sure, for the most part, for the most part, I'm not, not saying always, you know, they make sure their games are good, not as polished as they used to be. And then they squeeze their, their money out of them. And also, I don't think things are as good for Blizzard as they were uh, a few years back. Things are things are hurting for Blizzard, Blizzard at the moment. So I don't think it's a, a good... Um, I don't think it's fair to say that Blizzard isn't going to get a reckoning. Because I think they are. Especially given all the shit that they're doing with Diablo, Immortal, uh, Diablo um, 4. I'd be very surprised if there wasn't a reckoning coming for Blizzard. So we'll just have to wait and see with that. Also, another thing, I think that the Blizzard community is a way softer consumerism um, culture than uh, Warhammer. Not by much. So I think, on average, Blizzard players will put up with a lot more bullshit than Warhammer players. Warhammer players will not put up with as much. That's maybe a bit of a generalization, but that's from my observation so far. Because you always have apologists, people who like go out of their way to bootlick the company. Blizzard's got them, Creative Assembly's got them. Every every major company has got them. But I kind of feel like the boot uh, the boot kiss oh, what's good bootlicking is way more severe in Blizzard than it is in um, Creative Assembly, which means people won't put up with it for as long. I think. So I'm a little bit more hopeful in the situation with Blizzard. In, in my opinion, Blizzard is beyond redemption. They're, they're, like, I'm, I just refuse to buy any more of their games. I'm completely done with Blizzard. Let it die. Sag Music and Production did a 100 NOK Super Chat. I feel like CA is too bloated and greedy to learn from their past mistakes with past releases. Uh, it feels like they prioritize the short-term gains and pushes the issue down the road. Cheers. I, I think that as well, yeah. Thanks for Super Chat. Well, if it's, you know, if the short-term gains end up backfiring on them, maybe they'll stop. Like, they did that with Rome too. So. Just have to wait and see. Yeah, we just don't know what the future's gonna hold at this point. Just don't know. You know, I'd like to have some degree of hope that things are gonna get better, but just don't know.
Yeah, this is really good. <laughs> Give it everyone a heal. You still enjoy Warhammer 3? Yeah, yeah, I just don't play it all the time. I definitely don't enjoy it as much as I did Warhammer 2, which is why I just, I'm not as active as I used to be. And I don't play campaigns for as long as I used to. Usually, no power play. Mm. Turn 40, 50, I don't know. The other side of the greed is maybe if the rest flops, they'll do one before. That maybe. Maybe. I, I just don't know. Well, the only thing that that you could be sure of is that Creative Assembly is going to do whatever they feel like is going to net them the most amount of money. They're money focused. There's nothing wrong with being money focused, but I think you need to have a certain amount of balance with these sort of things. You can't just be profit driven at the cost of everything else because if you do that you'll end up with nothing you can't just expect money and not give anything and currently creative assembly is not giving anything they're just taking and so i think it's going to backfire on them soon if it hasn't already Yeah, anyway, we probably shouldn't talk too much about Creative Assembly constantly. It can really bring the mood down. Um, this is all stuff that we've covered before. I, I understand that the mood with the with the uh, Total War community is shit. I really understand it. Um, and I know that that's... What's on a lot of people's mind right now is just talking about Creative Assembly. Because <laughs> there's not that much to talk about with the game. Uh, but it would be good if we if we didn't talk about it all the time. Have you reached 5k hours in Warhammer 3 yet? No. No, not yet. No, I've been sitting on 4k hours since the beginning of the year, I think. Yeah, I, just, I haven't been playing it that much. I could play it every now and again. But just not... Not like I was Warhammer 2. It wasn't like all day, every day. Why is the stand your ground dude not in the blob? Okay, he was in the blob, but I got him to chase away archers because the archers were causing too much damage to my monsters. That's why. The problem here isn't melee defense. We've already got plenty of it. We're not taking damage in melee. We're taking damage by archers, which is why, again, he's going after these guys. Doesn't matter. We're not taking much damage and we're about to recover. About to win. Like they've done next to nothing to us. Sage Music Production did a 50 MOK some chat. Changing the mood. Let's talk about the hot seat event. Loved it? That's good. I'm glad you guys enjoyed that. Yeah, it seemed to get really positive responses all around. Have you been playing Starfield? Yes, I have been playing a lot of Starfield. I've already clocked 200 hours in Starfield. That's what I've been playing in my spare time. That's what I was playing pretty much all day today. I really enjoy Starfield, even though my computer doesn't run it very well. Pretty much gonna have to get a new computer soon. How many hours do I have in Warhammer 2? A fourteen and a half thousand hours. But Legend, you got so sick of Warhammer 2, that's why you don't like Warhammer 3 as much. No, that's not it. CH did a 45 DKK Super Chat. I joined when you did maths for MR Giants. Will you be using the Giants or was that just theoretical? Um, I think that I will recruit Giants whenever they're available. I just don't think Giants are going to be readily available very often, that's all. Because Giants require a mountainous region and we're, we're in the Empire. So it's going to be, it's going to be hard pressed to find more Giants. But I, I will get them whenever I can, for sure. The Giants are good. Nurgle Giants are good. Ended story of Starfield, still just going around. I'm just playing the game. I'm not worried about rushing it. I'm just playing it for fun, doing the quest, getting through the story at my own pace, but no, I haven't finished it yet. Have you tried going to stream BG3? BG3 is the next game on my like to-do list, but I'm mainly just waiting for my wife to finish up with a lot of her work. She's very busy lately. Um, I want to play it with her. I don't think it's 
a game that I need to rush to play it right now. There's no FOMO to it. It's still going to be there a month, two months, three, a year from now. So I'll just get around to it whenever. Um, but yes, I do want to play BG3 and I don't want to stream it. No, we're good for souls. Alright. I foresee destruction. Okay, now we're starting to get access to Marauders of Nurgle. So that's good, just extra units in the pool. Let's upgrade that, and Weissman gives us more wood, which we don't need. We don't have any trade partners, so don't bother with it. If we end up losing a region, who cares? Like, normally you'd, you'd set up some vassals, right? But I'm, I want to see what it's like to not do that. Alright, this one could be good, because it's going to give us unit experience per turn plus 75. And I don't desperately need to get to Fleshy Abundance, because he's already a healer. So let's just go with that. Enrich my power to infect. We shall weave the fates. Alright, he can now use the Path to Glory, but I don't have enough souls. No, it's not a rush. Still, whenever. Later on in the game, you get plenty of souls just from fighting battles. It's not, not an issue. Having growth in this province would be pretty good. So we've already got it there. Let's pop it down at Viesman. That way, I think it's just got a better opportunity to spread from there. So we want to put it in the settlement and we want, let's have a look here. Yeah, grab this one. Yeah, there's some okay stuff in here. Nothing, nothing that we need to rush. Just pop that down. Right, yep, that'll... Extra growth. That'll come in handy. Cool. And let's move on. Good. And how are things going at Reichland? Don't know. Haven't met them yet. Should we finish them off? Mm. Uh, Garrett Ratchford did a $2 super chat. Did you ever play Elden Ring? I played it briefly, but that game just wasn't for me. I just wasn't... There were other things going on, and I just wasn't really into it. Thanks for Super Chat, though. I can see why everyone thought it was really good, but I just I just didn't play it very much. Mm. So we've already crumped them. Green skin thing to say. But I could get a fair bit of money out of them for a peace treaty. Yeah, let's just do that. It's good. Yeah. Oh yeah, we've also got the Eye of the God events coming, that's good. Alright, let's move on. Anything we need to do? Yeah, growth incoming. Alright, let's move on. Oh no, we already did the... Okay, okay. Moving on. Let's see how old you are, Grandpa. Have you ever played Caesar 3? No, I don't think I've played Caesar 3. Any chance of a Throt stream? There's a chance, yeah. Upgrade three Marauders Marauder to Nurgle Chaos Warriors. Okay, well I definitely want to do that anyway. Minstag got it refreshed. That's fine. Isn't there a technology where if a plague spreads you get souls? I can't remember. Or maybe it's a particular... Yeah, yeah, this one here. Souls gain... No, no, that's not it. That's crap.
A lot of these are pretty shit. That one's okay. Yeah, a lot of these are really trashy. That's okay, that's a lot of growth. It's okay. There's the physical resistance one, that's really good. Yeah, but for the most part, ugh, these are, these are, these plagues are, they're, they're crap. <laughs> they're not very interesting. Alright, do we have any more recruits? Nope. Nothing available. Nope. Hey, look at that, we spread it over there. Alright, I can hit Karaburg. And he'll be able to reinforce. And that'll finish off Middenland. It's a pretty decent chance Karl Franz will declare war on me. Pretty decent. But I think we can handle him. Let's go. Yeah, he's just sitting in here. Probably no enemies. Oh, he's got the beastman as an enemy. He's not that much stronger than us. And the thing is, the Empire AI is just really bad. Really, really, really bad. Maybe I should recruit another Lord. I don't know how much value that would provide, though. I think we should fight this battle manually, because I kind of expect Karl Franz to go and attack me next turn. So we need to make sure we're in tip shop shape. I know you're not following the campaign victory condition, but what is Festus's? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I usually don't worry about victory conditions, I just don't find them particularly interesting because the rewards are a bit on the low side. I'll have a look afterwards, but I just don't memorize this kind of stuff. Yeah, I'm not as much of a walking en encyclopedia of everything like I was with Warhammer 2, just because the demand for this is just way lower. Way lower than it was with Warhammer 2. It's like by half. So I just I put in a lot less effort with trying to memorize everything. Because I just I don't I don't care as much these days. Don't you earn the student ancillary as Warriors of Chaos? Yes, you do, but I don't really care about doing that. You don't need to do it. The tech tree is not something that you need to rush through. But yes, you can do that. If you want to do it, you go right ahead. I'm aware of it. I just don't like doing it. It's tedious. I find that with Warhammer 3, I really don't cheese as hard as I did with Warhammer 2. And that's largely because I feel like I just don't need to. Like, I can get really great results without really trying as hard as I did with Warhammer. Like, in Warhammer 2, I had to try really fucking hard to win some of those battles. And in Warhammer 3, very rarely do I need to try that hard. Alright. We want to blob up because we want to minimize amount of damage. They don't have enough missile damage to be able to do anything to us. We'll need to get Festus to go and draw their attention over here, because fighting in the forest would actually be quite handy for us. So, let's go in there. Yeah, it's kind of like with Doomstacks as well. Like, I don't really build Doomstacks in Warhammer 3 that much, unless it's really convenient to do so, because the demand for Doomstacks in Warhammer 3 has, compared to Warhammer 2, has drastically decreased. Like, really drastically. People used to be kind of obsessed with Doomstacks in Warhammer 2 because you kind of needed them due to the way that the game worked. You know, the AI would just build so many armies and supply lines would be so bloody severe. But in Warhammer 3, the AI doesn't build up. They always got low tier armies. And the supply lines are really quite manageable. So instead, it's gone the other way around. Like, you end up with, like, crap stacks that you can just dominate with because the AI is actually worse in Warhammer 3 than it was in 2. It's just, just kind of how it is.
I believe it's Windows of Magic plus 35 per turn. Windows of Magic plus 35. <laughs> uh, that's, yeah, that's fine. Uh, well, that means I'll never need channeling stance if we do that. I'll have a look at the end of this battle. So Festus has already done 10,000 damage. It's only just begun. Okay, back a little bit, because we just want to block the um, the missile units. They're the only ones that do any serious damage to us, even with our missile resistance. Get these ones to sort them out. So it could be interesting once we start fighting Karl Franz because we're not going to have that many troops. He's going to be vastly outnumbering us. But we'll see. It might actually be really easy to beat him because just Empire is just really easy to kill. They're very squishy in Wyma 3. Uh, do you have any fictional or historical idea where you would say you're walking encyclopedia at the moment? Well, no, I, I wouldn't. No, I don't really like... No. Just basically, short answer is just no. Autocorrect is a B? Well, don't use autocorrect then. Do it manually. <laughs> You blob it and you got surrounded. I'm only surrounded by dead men. Literally, they're dead. Alright, that's the end of Midland. I think I read that CA is developing a new engine for their RTS games. It is really too bad Warhammer 3 will never be moved to a more modern game engine. Warhammer 40k, probably. Maybe, maybe. Uh, yeah, I would take that information with a pinch of salt. So we'll see. There was actually a really good interview that uh, Great Book of Grudges did with Cody Bonds. And I think Cody Bonds has got some really good insights into the workings of Creative Assembly. If you haven't, if you haven't checked out that interview, I'd, I'd suggest doing so. Not right now, obviously. <laughs> but it's like a two hour long interview, but there's some really good stuff talking about there. Quite like Cody Bonds and Great Book of Grudges. Some really good insights there. Alright. Alright, let's see here. Could subjugate them, but I said no vassals. Okay, Mid and Lund is down. Now, if we were to take on Karl Franz at Altdorf, we're looking at more than a full... St Look, he hasn't done anything this entire campaign. We could march straight to Eilhard if we wanted to. Altdorf is not worth much to us. Neither is any of these minor settlements here, which is why I didn't bother building them up. I'm not interested in really doing a no-defeat campaign here. Yeah, Festus could make it to Eilhard. He could do that. Alright, what are we doing next? Accumulating a bit of money, that's good. Yep, improve that, that's good. Can we get this going? Yep, let's do that, that's good. Don't worry about tradable resources right now, unless it's something like this is pretty good. Getting those going. Yeah. I mean, once if, once we start getting feral manticores, yeah, it's, this is, those are good. Uh, okay, let's, let's have a look here. How about you get more magic? The gods smile. Merkel revealed all. Yeah. Become thickened. Good. Okay, cool. Have a little look in diplomacy, see what's available. Just 
Warhead of the one eye. Yeah, if he could just go fight somewhere, whatever, that'd be fine. And let's... Okay, we've got a commandment here. Let's... Yeah, let's go with the growth one, because we want to grow mid and as quickly as possible. Cool. Let's move on. How come you don't want vassals as a Roy as a Chaos faction? Um, I'm just trying something different, because... Um, having Empire Vassals, I don't feel like, feels very good playing as Warriors of Chaos. I feel like Norskin Vassals feel good. Um, so I, I definitely could get the Vassals, I just want to try something different. Alright, well Carl France has gone and charged up here looking for, um... Um, Kazrak, it seems. Let's have a look. I think we're pretty good for favor. I think I might go with the souls. Then again. No, I think I will go with the souls. Good. Which plague do you have? Yep, that's the one you want. Yep, that's the one you want. Okay, so it says here we can't reach... Carl France, but that's probably because we're in this stance. We can reach Carl France. We can catch him in Fourth March, and that's actually a good trait for Warriors of Chaos because it provides unit experience gain bonuses. All right, we're starting to get better unit show up here. Having aspiring champions show up is definitely good. I don't like spawns of Nurgle. Main thing I want, I suppose, is just lots of Chaos Warriors. But you said chosen side. Alright. Let's get over here. I'm gonna take this for Fantastic. you. And let's talk to Kazrak. Kazrak. Oh, Ta Kazrak got Kazrak fucked up. Gulef. Something's fucked him up. You got more money than that. No, I guess he doesn't. Cool. Harry Selwood became a new member. Alright, thanks dude, appreciate the support. Dark. My Nurgle Demon Prince can get the Law of Death passive in his skill tree, but he already has it because he used to be a Death Sorcerer. Does it apply twice, or is it an oversight? It's just an oversight, yeah, I I'm aware of that. And... Yeah, it's just, um... Yeah, it is applied. It you don't get it twice. You don't get it twice. Um, kind of tempted to auto resolve that, but I know it's gonna fuck up my army. Blip. I'm pretty sure I'm on the hardest difficulty. I, I gotta check that. All right, we should go with this because I want souls. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on the hardest difficulty. Honestly, difficulty should be locked. If you're playing on legendary difficulty. Of blight. That wasn't everything they had. They've got other armies. But that brought us up to 100 Nurgle Corruption. Still not a great selection of units available here compared to Chaos Wastes. I'm not sure if we'll make it to Altdorf next turn, but we'll give it a shot. See if we can make it. And let's recruit another Lord. Because I got money. Yeah, why not? More Nobles rot. Let the rot commence. Cool. Yep, that's good for him. Dark That's all looking pretty good. Physician of Blight. Mm. Yeah. A measure of progress. Are hobgoblins good crap stack units? They can be, yeah, if you boost them appropriately, which you can. Um, 
Yeah, they can be quite good. I don't mind hobgoblins, the way they they work. Good fi excuse me, good filler units. Although I think with the Chaos Dwarves, they should probably make it so it's a lot easier to get um, early, like in the early stage of the game, more Chaos Dwarf units, like uh, just a regular Chaos Dwarf infantry, because it's really difficult to justify spending armaments in the early stages of the game. You're just way better off spamming Hobgoblins and saving your raw materials for other things in the early stages. So there is a little bit of an oversight there. Creative Assembly values the lower tier unit too highly. They need to be made cheaper. And they should probably make the higher tier units more expensive. They're, they're too similar in cost. It's, it's a, a little bit of a balancing issue, but um, not really worth worrying about that much. Alright. Alright, shall we... Everyone. Preferred endgame army for Archeon? Um, I either go with like a chosen spam or you can go with a Chaos Knight spam if you want. Or you can go with a mix of both. Because those are the units he boosts. Or you can go with just whatever. But usually I, I try to go to with their strengths and that seems to be his strength. Why would they make that change in a world you would crap stack though? Well, that's the whole point that I'm trying to make. In order to disincentivize you a little bit from crap stacking, you have to make mid-tier units a little bit more viable. This is part of the problem with Total Warhammer. Um, mid-tier units are the least cost-effective units in the game, which is why I either go full crap stack or full doom stack, because it makes no sense to go mid-tier, because they're only marginally better than lower-tier units, but they oftentimes require a lot more, uh, resources. It's just a, it's just a balance. In terms of campaign balancing, it's, it's a little bit off. Yeah, the, uh, the low, it basically goes like this. Low tier units are really valuable. High tier units are really valuable. Mid tier units are worthless. Most of the time, not every single time. But you'll, if you ever watch my campaigns, you'll very rarely see me recruit mid tier units. Unless, of course, I'm forced to do it, like in a, um, Warriors of Chaos campaign. Alright, we can launch the attack here. We're a little bit damaged, and they've got a full 30 units here. Do we have any additional units? Yeah, we can get another Marauder of Nurgle. Okay. Just be careful about where we recruit it, because if I recruit it into this army, he might cost me some movement. I can do that sometimes. Right, we got 80 Winds of Magic. I got the Power of Healing on my side. We just got this tech here, which gives us more Battle Healing Cap. Yeah, that's pretty good. We'll go with that. Actually, okay, okay how, about, how about I turn that off? Maybe we'll get a student. Alright, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go for it. Valiant Defeat. Oh yeah, that reminds me, it's a walled city siege, which means we're not going to have any troubles at all, because I have two characters on horseback. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind, it'll be fine. Yeah, I just want you to come in, help get some experience. Yeah, not going to order us off that. Hmm. Yeah, we'll be fine. I'm not worried in the slightest. Also, I've got Shatterstone. Nice. Yeah, so you know how we made walls really valuable? We made it so that factions that are going to invade the Empire can destroy walls with magic. <laughs> oh, siege rework is so dumb. Whatever. I heard Gotrick and Felix got some changes. Are they better now? Sl marginally better. They were fine before, but they're just marginally better. Did they fix Vassal Cheese? Uh, what's the Vassal Cheese? Is that the one where you go around and basically demand everyone be your Vassal? I don't think they fixed that, but I, I didn't try it out. I don't I don't bother doing QA stuff anymore. I don't bother going in and, and seeing if they fix certain bugs. 
Uh, I stopped doing that a long time ago because I find it that <laughs> that my energy is wasted on that. They either fix it or they don't, and you guys usually find it out. But yeah, I don't. I don't go in like when a new DLC drops or I get early access to something. I don't immediately go in and start looking for things to complain about. I just play it, and if I enjoy it, I enjoy it. And if I don't enjoy it, then I don't. I just don't worry about it too much these days. Now, I've come to realize that a lot of the stuff is completely out of my control, and so I just try to be a bit more chill about it. Okay. Hey! No, no, there's mortars, no. No. Clearly they're going for the monsters, the, the wrong unit, essentially. Actually, yeah, if you want to shoot the mortar, uh, the monsters, you, you go right ahead. Hey Legend, I'm playing as Arke and my Fest has died. Can I summon him by making a rebellion in his home region? No, actually you can't. Yeah, Festus is someone that you should prioritize confederating quickly. Apparently some of the technologies from a Stanky campaign don't apply properly. One of the most noticeable ones is Discourage Attack and Missile Resist for things in the woods. Um, yep, things not working correctly is pretty standard for Creative Assembly. We've already gone through certain techs in this campaign that still don't work. After a year of it not working, it still doesn't work. Um, maybe they'll fix it in the next patch. Maybe not. Um, I don't know, man. This is why I think we need a custodian team. We need, like, a dedicated team that is not focused on making new content. It's just focused on fixing a lot of these stupid issues that have existed within Total War Warhammer for ages. Like, it's just database fixing. And most of the time, the community bug fix mod fixes it. I, what I don't understand as well is why doesn't Creative Assembly just pay the people who make the community bug fix mod and just apply some of those things into the game? That's, again, I don't know. I don't know. Like, things like text not working, that's really not acceptable. Um, Aurel Preskin did a 10 pound super chat. Cheers mate, just found out about your channel. Got a new sub, was curious. Sorry, just now say. What's uh, curious, who do you think has the best technology tree in Warhammer 3 and what lord do you think has the best skill tree? Have a great stream. All right, thanks dude, appreciate that. Okay, as for best uh, tech tree, there's definitely some top contenders. So one of the top contenders I would say would actually be Korn. Korn's tech tree is really powerful. Um, another top tech tree is Skaven, super powerful tech tree. The, um, the Dwarves, very powerful tech tree. Chaos Dwarves, very powerful tech tree. Um, best skill line? Oh, that's really hard to say. Really, really hard to say. You're gonna have to give me some examples, and I'd, I'd say, yeah, that's a great skill line or bad one, because, like, nothing comes to mind immediately, because there's just so many laws to go through now. My mastery absolute. I know. Time. Alright, looks like I'm gonna need some assist over here. I thought that the, these knights here might be a bit of an issue. God, I hate restrict camera. My father hated them too, even before they plucked out his eyes. <laughs> yeah, appreciate that super chat, dude. Good to have you as a new son. Main problem here is these Reichsguard pinning us down. And once we get through the Reichsguard, everything else should be fine. 
Cetra has the best overall skills in Warhammer 2, in my opinion. I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that at all. I like Cetra, don't get me wrong. Really like Cetra, but I don't agree. I would say that Ikaclaw easily beats him. Malekith? Mm. Mm, mm. Like, they're use very useful for the um, Dark Elves, but I wouldn't say it's the best. Come on, Festus. You can move. Alright, with the cavalry thinned out that much, we should be able to start pulling out of this. A little bit more. Is it Helmand Gorst because he cannot lose ever? Helmand Gorst? I'm pretty sure he can lose. How is it that he can't lose? The only faction that I know of that can't lose is uh, the change thing. Have you heard of Aranessa? Aranessa's got the worst. <laughs> Probably one of the worst. Okay, we got, we got, um, we got, looks like we're going to have a choppy day today, sorry. Yeah, it's out of my control. Sometimes we have good days, sometimes we have bad days. I can't do anything about it. There's just no way for me to know when my internet's just going to be garbage. Okay, it seems to have fixed itself. It was just—it was just a short, short problem. Just need to get these guys out of here. Cavalry don't have enough mass to pull out of these uh, infantry engagements, so you need magic to just knock them down. Festus, hurry up. Alright, that should still reach. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nope. No, just a little bit more. One more of those. Should be able to get through them. How would you take out Malice early with the Demon Prince? I don't know. I haven't played as the Demon Prince in Immortal Empires because I hate the De I hate Daniel the Demon Prince. I hate him. I haven't played him in over a year. It's just a really bad implementation of a character. I like the idea of him, but his implementation is absolutely awful. Absolutely terrible campaign to play. In my opinion. So yeah, my advice is don't play it. There's way better. Like, if you're looking to play... Undivided, Bellacore. Bellacore all the way. Come on, we're almost out. Do it. Okay, this guy here can do your heals. Festus will keep these busy. The vampire tech tree is really good. Uh, it's pretty good. I wouldn't say it's top tier, but it is it is pretty good. Okay, Festus' job here is done. forces over this way. Cathay Tech Tree? Cathay Tech Tree is okay. Most It's got like a lot of text, but most of it is just very small bonuses. There are a couple of really good things in the, in the Cathay Tech Tree, but I would not call it a top tier tech tree. Alithanar is very forgotten about. I don't think he's forgotten about. He's very good legendary lord for sure. Lizardman, Lizardman Tech Tree is very good. That's a top tier one for sure. There's a lot of really good techs in that one. Welcome there. Oh, I see.
Do towers do friendly fire? Uh, the towers inside of a settlement don't do uh, friendly fire, but the ones outside on the walls do friendly fire. Norska? Yes, Norska has the best tech tree. Absolutely. Norska's tech tree is absolutely insane. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah, that the uh, the cavemen actually have the strongest tech tree. Yep, I'd agree with that. Oral Preskin did a 10 pound super chat. I was playing the game since it came out, and now I just found some love for Warriors of Chaos. So, for the skill tree, which one do you think is best? There is no best. You pick whatever you want. There is no best. That's the great thing about the Warriors of Chaos. There is no one optimal way to go about it. It's one of the few factions where you're not pigeonholed into one particular playstyle. Okay. Well, I don't think I should get stuck into a fight with Halberdiers with cavalry. If they end up capping this again, that's not a big deal. I can lure them away. Just keep running around. Maybe I'll bring Festus back. Maybe I do actually need to kill a few more units. There's, they're, they're actually spreading out a bit better than previous battles that I've fought them in. Alright, now I need to, Okay, I'll get out this way. Just gotta draw them away, and then come back over here. Because taking out 30 units takes a little while, and I don't have that many troops. I'm, there's gonna be a... Um, I suppose there's not gonna be that much of a counterattack. Come through here, Festus. Yeah, so what we do in this situation here is we just go cap a bunch of other points, they'll prioritize going to go cap that. What about Tomb Kings? Research line. That is a very good one, but I would still say that the Norska one is better. Yeah, that, that is, they do have a very good uh, tech tree. Thing is, their tech tree kind of makes their campaign essential. You have to use it, where it's Norska, you don't have to use it. They just give you massive buffs. So it's kind of a different thing. Because, yeah, if you don't use the, um, the Tomb King tech tree, you're not going to get many armies. Yep, we're starting to pull their forces back. That's it. Alright, let's go take on those mortars, because that'll be easy. Because they're staring at us over here, and they think that this is sufficient to defend it for now. So we need them to not realize it's sufficient, or realize it's insufficient. So they bring more troops over here. Festus can get up on the wall, can't he? Oh, he, he can't climb up on walls. Interesting. Nope, I don't want to find help it is. Let's go. Alright, go around this way. Dark Elf Tech Tree is the best in my opinion. Range and growth buffs. Um, I don't think it's the best. But it, I'm not going to disagree with you if you think it's the best. Give me three diseased fat guys and I'll impregnate the bitch. Garrett Ratchford did a $2 super chat. Lure of Hash Shot or Lure of Fire? You have a preference? Um, no, I don't have a preference. I think they're basically on the same tier. 
Originally, I thought the Lore of Hashut was shit, but since only the Chaos Dwarves can use it, and they can buff it like crazy through their tech tree, um, it's, it's pretty damn good. Can't go wrong with Hellhammer or the... Uh, Flames of Asgore. Both good spells. Pestis raking in loads of kills there. Do you know what they really should do? They should make it so that if you don't hold on to this, that you actually lose the uh, victory tickets. That's one way they could slow down the cheese on this a little bit. I reckon they will do that eventually. Because I know the Creative Assembly uh, employees do listen in on these streams. Not just my stream, but... Uh, a lot of streams. I'm not, I'm not sure if they're listening to it right now. They're probably too focused on Pharaoh. But they do listen. They just don't act on it a lot of the time. Who is the best Chaos Wolf Lord in your opinion? Easily Drazo at the Ashen. Easily. No contest. Come on, stop getting stuck in there. Just hold them back a little bit longer. Just get rid of the cat points and make it so you have to defeat, kill about the entire garrison. Yep, so, okay, so if they did that, do you know what the problem would be? As the player, what you would... that This happened in Rome too, by the way. <laughs> People forget sometimes that I've been around Total War for a really fucking long time. If you remove capture points from the battle, uh, from sieges, what ends up happening, because this is in Rome too, by the way, for minor cinema battles, is that as the defender, if you can't win the battle, you can just run out and hide out in the forests. And just wait the timer out. And because the AI is programmed to t attack the city and capture the, the city, they won't go hunting after your army. So if you remove capture points from these sort of battles here, what you would do, if you were overwhelmed, you would just run out and hide into the forests. Some decent soulage. I think. It's not just sap. I think I'll just occupy it. Um, yeah, if you've ever played a Rome 2 minor settlement siege, you could just run out, run out of the city and just hide, wait for the timer to run out. Fair enough, remove them only when the AI is defender. Oh, but then the AI is cheating! You know, you're gonna have complaints no matter what, you just, you just need to improve the AI. Um, no matter, no matter what they do with that kind of stuff, that remove the timer that would fix that. <laughs> removing features. Again, you're going to have people complain because they like the timer. No matter what you do, you're going to have people complain. All three of these options are good to me. I'm going to just occupy. It just... It, like, the rewards weren't that big of a deal, and this will allow us to progress faster, because this guy doesn't have enough movement to occupy it. And we need to just keep moving. Because, yeah, we got Norm down here we need to get to. Alright, you can have... I don't think you really... Yeah, how about you go with that, actually. My power to and... Yeah, yeah Flesh of Abundance is good. What is a doctor without instruments? Mm, 
considering we really need experience, they really buff this skill line. Yeah, I'm gonna get more training done. We need we need more experience. Hey, we got a student. Now watch this. Okay, so do you remember how this technology was four turns? Watch this. This is this is gonna blow your mind, right? Are you ready to have your mind blown? It's still four turns! <laughs> and it doesn't trickle over. You have to you have to get quite a few of them, and we don't have any more heroes, so <laughs> yeah. What can you do? Um yeah, I keep going down the magic line, whatever. It has corrupt. We shall weave the fates. Dominant. Keep up a bit better. The gods smile. Now they will see true power. No. Learn your magic a bit better. <laughs> alright. Alright, alright, alright. So. Mid and Lend is fine. We're, we're making money from here, so we want to tax it. Um. Okay, there's troops here. Let's grab one of these. Oh, we left someone behind here. I forgot to recruit. Yeah, grab them. And... It's a shame how this one here, you can't get access to that one. Favor from all buildings, plus 5%. Oh. God, but the fucking port is in the way. Oh, but legend, growth plus 20. So useful in all tier 1 settlements. Alright, there's nothing we can do here, I think. Don't bother sitting in the settlement. Just And also, don't bother taxing it. Won't bother. Yeah, you force march into there because you're all lagging behind. Cool. Alright, next stop is Grunberg. Yeah, okay, cool, let's move on. Any particular plans for this campaign, or just uh, bothering the Empire, or just uh, leaving forever? Uh, I'm just playing, we'll just see how we go, no particular plans. I find whenever I've got plans, the game throws a curveball at me, so if something interesting shows up, we'll just do it. So just play it loosey-goosey, and we'll just see what happens. Why not recruit them at the start of the next turn to have less upkeep? Well, I'm no longer in that province for one thing. And another thing is that they'll gain some experience. It's not that big of a deal. Did you ever play or plan to play Warmer 3 with mods? I do play with a couple of mods. I'm not not big with mods. Not big with it. I don't do it all the time. Uh, but I am, I am thinking about it. Alright. Okay, I can reach. I can reach Grunberg. Do they want peace yet? I have no. done that. Good. There's more available here thanks to spreading the rot. of blight. This army here will be able to attack Karaberg. The plague instrument. Um, there's one unit we can recruit. All right, you're going to have to go back and defend Karabur. They're recruiting more troops as well. Can't reach there this turn. The second yeah, grab, grab these units, because honestly, against the Empire, those are going to be pretty handy. Uh, we don't have enough money for regiments of renown. Yeah, we'll just see how that goes. Excellent. Doctor on call. Money. 
Oh, that's why I need to kill stuff. Let me just check. Because I've just split my forces up a little bit. How... Okay, no one doesn't seem too bad. We should be able to handle that easily enough, so... Alright, this is maybe a time. I'll need to... Hang on, should I order this or fight it manually? Probably should fight it manually, because auto... Last time we auto-resolved a garrison, we actually took quite a lot of damage. It took more than a full turn to recover. But then again... <laughs> no, we're fine. There again, we're fine. Yeah, let's stop the point. Yeah, that's fine. We're punching quickly enough. So here's another thing. See how it says one to one? If I don't recruit this this turn, um, next turn there's a there's no chance of getting another one in the pool. But at the same time, I'm really short on funds. So... I'm just going to do it anyway. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. So, next turn we'll grab Nuln. Why not? Why ever not? Okay. And I'm out of money. These guys here might launch the attack on Karaburg. Like I said, we've got seven units that are pretty badly damaged. But, those Chaos Warriors are going to be something that these guys here aren't going to be able to handle at all. They might have a basic barrack at Ubershrike, but that's about it. So at Grunberg, we could build this for... That, that's good for the Chaos Warhounds and stuff, but we'll just have to see how we go. Hey Legend, do you like Warcry 3 style strategy games? I definitely liked them back in the day, but ever since Total War, I haven't really been able to go back to them. So I don't, I don't play traditional RTS anymore. Oh, he's going for it. I might lose this. Oh, okay. Alex Thomas became a new member. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, I said I was going to check this stuff here. So, victory conditions. Short campaign victory requires us to own Minenheim, Prague, and Kislev. And that'll give us, yeah, Winds of Magic, Power Reserve, plus 30 per turn. So that basically shows we're always at 100. And then Long Campaign gives us Lord Recruit rank plus 10. I don't think that one's overly useful. What? No, I got this. I got this. See? Yeah. They're gonna have such a hard time with Chaos Warriors, and this guy here's got an edge over them. Not much of an edge, but a little bit. Hang on one sec. Let me just try one more thing. Did I miss something? I might be able to give him a little bit more of an edge if I give him... Let's see here. So we've got the Scroll of Blast, Chalice of Chaos. Ooh, it's a risk giving him that. If we lose the battle and lose this item, I'd, I'd feel really silly. But this could be the difference between victory and defeat, because it's very tight. And then I think that getting the Relic Sword would be good. Yeah, keep this guy alive. This is our best unit. We need to make sure he does a good job. Can I win this? Uh, yes, I can. Ooh, I don't like that auto resolve. Hang on. Let me just have a look to see what's available here. Mm, okay, I can replace the 
Chaos Warrior of, uh, Chaos, Chaos Marauder of Nurgle. I'd much prefer losing the Forsaken. I think I should fight this battle manually. Ready. Yeah, I'm gonna fight it manually. So we got we got five units there plus seven. We're outnumbered by one unit. Their units are fresh, but they're also super low tier. All of these archers are going to get eaten up by doggos. Yeah, we'll be we'll fight it manually, but we'll be fine. Fuse the weapons. I'm not going to get anything good. Friggin', do you know what will happen? I'll fuse a weapon and get like a crown of command or a trickster shard or whatever. Actually, won the auto resolve. Well, what? Quote unquote one. Um, we'll be fine to fight this manually. After all, the Empire AI is really bad. They'll probably blob up their archers, so it's just going to be really easy to, to get rid of them. And that's the only real threat. We'll, even with the very hard battle difficulty cheats, we, we should be able to overcome those um, infantry. And I'm going to Lord Snipe them, so there's I don't think there's any problem. I'm not sure if I've got enough magic, though, to Lord Snipe, but I will definitely thin him out by a lot. So they're not going to shoot at him because he's on foot. We've also got a scroll of blast that can do a lot of damage if I do it correctly. Oh yeah, that did a ton of damage. Definitely seen better, but that was I definitely go. not bad. Moving fast. Infernal gateway. Take this, mortals. I go. Alex Thomas did a 50 pound super chat. Hey Legion, just want to say I'm glad that you are back for a few weeks. I suffer from insomnia and anxiety. Watching and listening to your stream really helps. Thanks for everything you do. A lot of people don't appreciate the time and effort. Thank you. Uh, no worries, dude. I get that a lot of people don't appreciate it, but a lot of people do, so it's worth it. Thanks, for, that's really generous of you. You definitely don't owe me that. Appreciate you. Alright, they're prioritizing the fast units, so these guys here are just going to get... Fucking destroyed. I go. Yeah, it looks like the AI prioritizes fast units way too much these days. As I've said before, the Empire AI, there's something wrong with it. It's just really bad. Like, more so than, than other types of AI in this game. Oh my god, he flanked them! Oh my god, I actually flanked them. These guys here aren't great flankers. This is so far going really well. Them losing these two units here for next to no damage output. Not next to no, but definitely not their worth. That's really good for us. And being able to run them down makes a big difference. Oh, 
So that's three kills. But they do tend to get stuck on them. these arches. Luckily Forsaken are pretty quick. Good. Not seeing any issues here. My God's call! Sorcerer Lord! He shouldn't duel that Lord, he's not going to be good at that. Just had a brief look at his stats. Not comparable. Need to spirit leech him. The biggest downside as opposed to not auto-resolving it is that this army isn't going to get fully wiped from losing the battle, but they're mostly going to go, because I've got a lot of fast units, so I'm just going to run them down. And there's the army losses. Nowhere near as much damage as what the auto-resolve said, but also we didn't do as much damage to them. So we need to make sure we run them down. Cool. I don't know why I was even mildly worried. A couple of units got away. Because, yeah, in the next battle, if there is going to be a next battle, we're not going to be able to use our garrison, so we need to make sure we can cope. The Hot Seat campaign is still going. The, the Gelt one is finished. That finished with PZA Total War. There's a playlist now if you want to go check that out. Um, we'll start a new one up in the next couple of days. Kendrick White did a, become a member for three months. Hey Legend, glad to see more live streams. My son and I have been playing Total War less than a year and I've learned a ton from you. Thanks. No, hey, dude, my pleasure. Say hi to your son for me. Thanks for the membership. For three months. 
What's my favorite faction to play? I really enjoy playing as the Warriors of Chaos these days. And Corn. Hey Silvalis, how's it going? Good to see you. Yeah, so there's a couple of units survived. I'm not, I, I know this one's definitely survived. I'm not sure about these ones because they're close to the threshold. Yeah, that one's okay. That's good for some souls. Quite a lot of souls, actually. I'll take those. Alright, yeah, easy. Easy. I was just worried he was going to run back to Isleheart. And you can now pick up some of this. You definitely earned it. Now they will see it. Oh, I probably should have gone life leeching first. Whoops. Festus, the leech lord. I wonder if I can get this guy here to just finish off Reichland. Oh, that one's got 12 units. They've built defenses and minor settlement. There's no Shall way he'd be able to handle that with six it? units. Yeah, there's no way. No. Hmm. Well. I really want to hit Nuln, but at the same time, we really should finish off the Empire. This guy here just doesn't have enough troops to be able to hit Isleheart and actually win. This is not strong enough. We get one more troop from here. Seven against twelve, and this is damage. There's no way it's going to work. Nurglings isn't going to do anything. Well, I've got some regiments of renown. Billius Thundergruff could do okay. But the problem here is I don't have the money to recruit all of it. Well, if I occupy Nome, I'll be able to sack an occupier. Because it's going to go down to tier 1 anyway. That will allow me enough money to get the regiments of renown to push onto Isleheart. How are we going at Ubersrike? Ubersrike. Only 8 units there. And then there's, of course, Helmgart. 15 units. What's our strength rank? 85. Not very strong. Now, we should have wiped out all of Reichland's forces. Yeah, they got no armies left. I foresee destruction. Hmm. I foresee destruction. The fecundite. Alright, well, let's just get on with this we battle here first. I am going to continue on to Wissenland. If we have to draw our forces back, so be it. That, that, that guy's going to have to just sustain that for now. My hand hovers close to my blade. Please. No. We no. need to get more dark fortresses. This is how we make money. Apart from loot. Yeah, easy battle, because we'll just chase it. Total War Pharaoh or No Not for a Week? Uh, I'd probably No Not for a Week, personally. <laughs> sell some crappy items? No, I don't think it's worth selling items. You sell them too cheap. Simply Arayan did a $20 super chat. Howdy, legend. Sadly, won't be able to watch this live given I just got off work. Want to show some love. Thanks for all the content. You've helped me through some tough times over the years. Sorry to hear that you've had some tough times. I guess we all do. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm glad I was able to help you through it. Thanks for the super chat. Okay, so... So, so, so. Um, just going to wait for our reinforcements. And then just send the cavalry in. We don't need to bash through the gate because we just use Shatterstone. 
I guess I could use... No, this this settlement type here is going to be very easy. They have no cavalry. We're going to break in really easily. But it helps greatly if you've got two lords doing it as opposed to one. When I play corn, I always seem to be beset on all sides and struggle to grow. Can you do a guide for good head start? Okay, so... If you're surrounded by enemies as corn, good. <laughs> the way to play corn is to cause as much mayhem as possible and revel in destruction. The, the, uh, the faction is designed exactly how it should be played. You want as many enemies as possible. You want them to come at you. You want to smash as many shit as you possibly can. Get into as many fights in every single turn as you possibly can. Even if you're not going to win it, just get into fights. Obviously you want to win. Um, because you just benefit so greatly from mayhem. A lot of people will look at Corn's economy and be like, oh my god, Corn's so shit, he makes no money from his buildings. You don't bother making money from your buildings, especially in the early stage of the game. You make so much money from loot, just pound. Go to pound town on everyone. Scarbrand is a one-man doomstack pretty much from the get-go. Go to pound, and he starts close to Wurzag. That should be one of your first things to do. Go and defeat Wurzag. But I have managed in one of my campaigns as... Oh, he's here. <laughs> Shit. Oh no, he's on a chariot. Oh, that's not as good um, for this. Uh, I'll just come to deal with it. Um, in one of my campaigns playing as Scarbrand, I managed to get Scarbrand to help hit by turn 10. By just like, just destroying my way through there. Faster, boy. This is where unearthly reflexes is really good. That huge speed boost. No, don't get stuck in there. Come on. Festus isn't going to bail you out this time. You need to just succeed. Don't worry about that one. Actually, no, 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 no. Let's grab it. Because they'll be stuck trying to get it back. Because with our capping powers, like a single entity's capping power seems to be higher than an infantry unit's capping power. So they now need two, three, two or three units in order to cap it at the same rate. And they'll cap that before they move on to the next one. That's not going to stop me. So we just cap as we go. Oh, I could have used this. Too late now. Because, yeah, see how it stops them? It basically acts as a barricade for us. Although they've just got this coming in. Use this on this one here. Uh, Minotaur is better with corn or Torox. I'd say they're probably better with Torox. Probably. They're really good either way. Remember how in the roadmap it was like, patch 4.0, siege improvements. Really? Really? <laughs> to be fair, there were some improvements. Just, just not that much. Don't bother just sitting there. If they recap it, they recap it. Just keep going capping points. Sometimes they forget to actually go back and, and cap it, especially if your units are running this way. Sometimes they will, sometimes they won't. Those money can always just go back and cap it again. Should we kill him? Yeah, let's kill him. <laughs> yeah, I'm a level one lord, I'm gonna go take on two Nurgle lords. What a great idea!
That didn't backfire at all. I bought them some time. Verdant Squire did a five pound super chat. Hey, at Legend of War, I was rewatching your Ikiklo 24 hour live stream. I wanted to ask what your thoughts of Lizardman in Warhammer 3. I think that the Lizardman need a bit of a rework. I definitely enjoy playing Lizardman for sure. And I feel like they, they feel better in Warhammer 3 than they did in 2, but they could use a bit of a rework. Out of the base Warhammer 2 races, I think that they are... Um, actually, I'd say the Dark Elves need a, a rework more than they do, but they, they, they still need a rework. Especially with the Geomantic Web. The Geomantic Web is just boring. Yeah, Chariot being able to just push through that is super nice. a lot of barricades. Interesting thing here is that we don't have to cap this all green. You, if you capture all of them at the same time, which probably not going to happen, but you can win the battle instantly that way. So by capping these points, I'm trying to draw them out this way. So they go and cap it, which leaves this undefended. <laughs> Imagine at your main capping point only having access to one barricade. It's embarrassing. Isn't this just mega boring? Uh, sieges, yeah, but it's got to get done. I just, I just don't want to lose troops. That doesn't take that long. Yeah, I'm just not really keen on throwing half my army away against the walls. Just, just don't really want to do it. And I'd rather just keep embarrassing the AI. I quite enjoy doing that. See, if CA wants to fix sieges, by all means, I would encourage that. But until they do, I'm a, I'm a breaker. That's what I do. I break things. I'm a, I'm a breaker. I don't give a shit how something is supposed to be played. I'm gonna do what I want. It's a single player game, who cares? Because, yeah, like this isn't particularly fun doing it this way, but it's also not fun how it's supposed to be intended, so I just don't do it that way. Because at least this way I get better results. Are the Ancestor items for the Chorps any good? Yeah, they're very powerful. Yeah, really good. How can they fix sieges according to you? I mean, in order to fix sieges, you need to have it so that defending the battles is... It feels good for the defender. Where, um, basically, for a walled settlement, the enemy should have probably twice the numbers of the, of the defender in order to stand a chance of an assault. So if, the, if both sides have equal numbers and it's 50-50 who's going to win, then the sieges don't feel right. If you've got walls where it's 
not optimal to defend it, something doesn't feel right. So there's just a whole lot of mechanics going on with sieges that don't feel right. And Creative Assembly, if they want to make sieges right, they literally have to fix every single one of them. There is no band-aid solution. This rework was pathetic. I don't know why they thought that this would work. I did say I could sack and occupy the when is CA going to fix the Cathay quest items? I thought they already did. Alright, cool. Another one of these is good for us. Alright, we sacked it for 1700 so we made a profit out of that. Um, yeah, we should repair it because we'll probably grow pretty quick. That would have helped you out in the previous battle. Uh, yeah, see, we want to, want to recruit it now because we want a chance for them to come back next turn. If we don't recruit them, then it's already at their max capacity. Money's fine. So these guys here, their strength... Okay, one thing to note here is that what they might do is besiege the settlement. Not if... Because mm, they've probably got multiple armies. Your and Not necessarily. Not necessarily. We shall mm, weave. Think about face. that one. Alright, assaulting this because it's a minor settlement siege as well. At least this guy is on horseback now. Worst case scenario is that they'll recruit a lord in there next turn. I think we should just chill oh, here for now. Ass. Just give him a turn to recover. Are you a god? Even better still, maybe even some winds of magic wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, so look at this. Uh, Nurgle Authority, Characters 1. So, if you're having a look at where all the uh, Nurgle Authority is coming from. So, where is it? Undivided. Here it is. I don't know why it's called Undivided Authority. Wait. Oh, oh right. This guy is undivided. So, where is that one? Right. Nurgle Authority, Own Army. Right. That's where that's coming from. Which means, this tech here, bugged. <laughs> Just pointing it out again. Uh, yeah, if we can go into channeling stance, I won't get as much replenishment though, and I feel like troops are more important than having one or two extra spirit leeches. Yeah, did I get? Didn't get life leeching. If I recruit a lord. Yeah, okay, if I rec Okay, I got an idea. I'm gonna recruit a lord. I'm gonna put this guy out in channeling stance. Because if they recruit a lord there, this guy here will be able to beat it. That way he's getting the full replenishment, and this guy's getting some winds of magic, so I'll be able to pop down more, um, winds of death and stuff. Uh, winds of death. Um, spirit leeches. <laughs> winds of death. Um, okay, this one here. Alright, let's do that. What is a doctor? Uh, another thing that I could do is give them a plague. So, we can give them extra missile resistance. Um... Okay, how about we give this one here the missile res no, 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 no. How about I give that the missile resistance next turn? I'll give this one the casualty replenishment one. This one here. Yeah. Because I got plenty of infections. That way, we'll have more troops next turn. And this one here. Yeah, 
Yeah, okay, I can't do that this time anyway. Alright, that's fine. And I want this one to train our units a bit better. Because I want to upgrade them as soon as possible. We've also got some marauders here that I should have upgraded. Kind of expensive, and we're not really using a lot of those units, so let's just chill with that. Alright, so we have a little bit of money left over. Mm, that's okay for public order. But yeah, I don't have allied or vassal regions, so I don't know if I'll bother with that. Getting... Getting um, some of these guys, some more of them would be really good. Yeah, like three grand each though. Um, this one here would at least give us more cash, so let's go with that. Oh, I've still got money left over, I guess we'll go with this. Okay, cool, and let's move on. Check the diplomacy, I doubt there's anything we can do. This action is the hero training skill better in Warhammer 3? Yes, it is better in Warhammer 3. Marginally, but still better. Well, it's actually like three times better. So yeah, it is better. But it's especially good with the Warriors of Chaos since experience matters a great deal. Is this campaign getting handed off to anyone after Legend stream for a while? Um, I'm not opposed to it. If if a if somebody wants to stream in three hours and fifteen minutes and they want to continue this campaign, I'll let them do that for sure. I, I wasn't going to do that, but if they want to, that's fine. Yeah, this could be a hot seat if people want it. It just depends if somebody comes and wants it, but uh, I, it wasn't planned that way. Raise or sack a settlement. The following settlement. Okay. Physician of blight. Good. Picked up a couple of extra units there as well. So there's probably a lord sitting in here. Doesn't look like it, but there should be. So we can pick up a few units. I'd rather this guy here launch the attack, because he's got more wings of magic, right? Yeah, he does. And the other guy can just attach it. No, they didn't put the lord in there. So we're going to be in much better shape to launch the attack here. Unleash chaos. Is it also worth conquering the north for dark fortresses? Honestly, that's the optimal thing to do. To, like, not really bother too much going down south midland. Um, but yeah, going straight into Norska, a huge amount of value up this way. Problem is, there are so many dark fortresses out this way, and in, in all honesty, all of our Chaos Warrior campaigns always just end up fighting all the way out here, just because there's so many dark fortresses. Um... This is just something a little bit different. I'm not really trying to play optimally here, necessarily. Okay, yeah, we're not out of the woods yet. <coughs> Alright, I need to get a little bit more cash, because I've only got essentially 9 units going up against 12. Oh, he fucking got the other plague. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, it's because I didn't put two in. Um, let me just see. I might be able to order resolve that. <laughs> hmm. I'm surprised you're not going straight for that caravan. Did they fix the value you get from them? Yeah, it's not worth it anymore. Not worth it. I'll get like four grand. Mate, if, if that. Not worth it. 
Not yeah. worth not finishing off my opponents. Alright, well that's good that they sort of... By Sigma, no! Mm. I refuse. Alright, this is interesting because... Alright, if I can't reach him here... There is no way that this army is going to reach here, especially considering he didn't put any points into the blue line. If I, if I launch the attack there, I won't have enough movement for Dotten back. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Oh, I guess the other guy could have done it. Uh, Gratian Rajinsky, I'm sure I didn't pronounce that right, did a 25 PLN super chat. Hi, legend. Hang on a sec. Yeah, I think we need to auto this. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, hi, legend. Glad to see you streaming more often. Are you actually enjoying Warhammer 3 more nowadays? Cheers. Not really. It's uh, it's okay. It's okay. It's it's not my favorite game. Like it's all right. I just not. I'm not obsessed with it. That's all. I don't think that there's anything wrong with that. It's just not my favorite game of all time. I think that they've made some really silly choices with this game that has uh, been for the worse. But I still like it. Thanks for the chat. Okay, that stops anyone from getting wiped out in that order resolve. The reason why I'm considering order resolving it is because it'll wipe out this entire army. We're going to take a lot of damage though, but I don't think that other army is going to do anything to us. Now, another thing here is that we have to make sure that Festus stands outside the settlement. That's really important. Because... Oh wait, they've only got one army. Mm. I'll ignore that. Yeah, if they've only got one army, then they can't possibly besiege with one army and attack him with the other. They can't possibly do that. It's a little bit of a risk, but we'll do that. Okay, and then I need to give this guy more replenishment because we are pretty dead, badly damaged. None of this is fucking good. So more casualty replenishment right there. We're almost at the point of upgrading these to Chaos Warriors, so that's good. And we got a little bit of money out of that, so we could recruit another one of these. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's still pretty bad. Looking at this. We're attacking a minor settlement when we are outnumbered with marauders. But I'm me, so I'm going to do it anyway. I know you've been playing Starfield a lot lately. Any interest in Cyberpunk? The most recent update 2.0 is really good. I've heard that Cyberpunk has gotten really good, and I would consider giving it a go. Hey, Legend of War, did Voland ever agree to talk with you? We had a little bit of a chat on Discord, um, but we didn't like make a video on it or anything. Uh, but yeah, we, we, we chatted. Mostly about um, hyenas. <laughs> um... I think we found a little bit of common ground, which is nice. All 
Alright, here's what we should do. We should hide our forces in here. But put him all the way over here, right? So that they put all their units at the front, because we want to cap this point straight away, because that's providing them a snap buff. And now we just kind of have to hope that they're not there. Favorite staff field faction questline? Well, I haven't done them all yet. Uh, but I quite enjoyed the Ryujin. I finished the Ryujin one. I quite enjoyed that. I thought that was quite good. Um, but I've kind of started most of the faction quest lines, but not finished them. But I, I did finish Ryujin. I, I really like that one, because you get a pretty decent amount of bonus from doing that. And there's lots of different ways that that one can end, so yeah, I thought it was a really good quest. Alright, I don't think the archers are going to be a problem. I think yeah, their halberdiers might. Fast. Didn't do quite as much as I would have liked, but that wasn't too bad. Is Starfield better than Fallout 4? I never played Fallout 4, so I don't know, sorry. I'm sure your answer will be different depending on who you are. Some people will say, no, Fallout 4 is better. Some people will say, Fallout, um, Starfield's better. All, all I can tell you is that I am actually really enjoying Starfield. I've made an absolute disgusting monstrosity of a ship, as I would normally do. It has 5,000 carry weight. I'm not done with it yet. Um, it costs me half a million credits. <laughs> it's just it's just a big block of fucking shit. But it's functional. It fights well in fights on very hard battle difficult on very hard difficulty. So it's a very functional ship. But it is ugly. Very fucking ugly. I think if some if some of you guys saw my ship, you'd be like, "Ugh, legend! What is this?" And I have to remind you that it's me. What would you think I was gonna do? Okay, this guy's arrived. I think this is going really well so far. Keep that up. I'm not even sure if I'm going to need him. Definitely do want to cap these points. But I also need to get rid of these archers. This guy here is having the most trouble. You need to stay away from that. That's how it is, I think. Yeah. God magic. 
Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I'm going to cap all these points. Because that one's going to get capped really quick, and then I'm coming back over here. And then that's it, it's over. I go. Moving fast. Pull this one back, because it's taking too much damage. And since we don't really need it to outright win the fight... I bother. Just break it. Cool, that's not going to rally for a moment. All we have to do now is cap this, and then that's it, it's done. Empire is so much easier to destroy than Kislev? Yeah, I agree with that, yeah. Empire is quite weak right now. There we go, battle's over. And that's how you win with inferior numbers. We had fewer troops than they did, and we still won. In fact, we absolutely whooped their ass. Hey Legend, love to see you streaming again, even if for a limited amount of time. My wife also says hi. Alright, say hi to your wife for me. I think walls do serve a purpose, they make the enemy come in waves. They they do serve a purpose, but not much. Not what they should be doing. If if the if the walls are a detriment for the defender to hold, then why even have them? If we have a look here, yeah, they definitely do have a lord there, but that one doesn't have a large garrison. As long as, ooh, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to reach that one there. But this guy here might reach it next turn. He can launch the attack. Could be Carl Franz back as well. That's fine. Really, legend, two points in the spirit leech. <laughs> Alright, let's have a look here. Battle healing cap, that's good. Diplomatic relations, meh. Although the casual food punishment rate isn't bad. Alright, let's get doctor's orders. That's pretty good. Actually, no. No, I need replenishment right now, so let's get that. This you got plenty of skills to distribute. My Dark Good. Okay, and Dot and Buck. Dot and Back. We've got access to iron. Of course, no trade agreements. I don't have enough money. Okay, we can now get Chaos Sorcerers, but I'm not going to worry about that right now since our finances are not spectacular. Okay, there might be one or two units that we can recruit next turn. If we have a look again, the chance of that is 50-50 uh, roughly. Yeah, you should probably recruit this.
I don't think that's going to be difficult. If they launch the attack, we should be fine. Alright, let's move on. I'm still surprised they didn't remove butt letters. First patch of Warhammer 1. Uh, yeah, butt letters is definitely one of those things that... ...is not very popular. The thing is, not only did they not remove butt letters, but they have continued that... In I other Total War games that came in, Alex. came out after no, it. What? Why? But we were buds. Oh my god, they're gonna launch an attack. Oh shit! Man, Heinrich caught me by the balls. <laughs> Heinrich, you dick! You fucked me in the previous campaign too! What happened to you liking chaos? Damn it, all my items are on this one. There's no way we can win this. Heinrich! <laughs> Heinrich, you fucked me! I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to quit what I'm doing with well finish off Norn quickly and get over here because this is um there's nothing I can do about this. Absolutely nothing. I was not expecting that at all. Jeez, there is there is nothing I can do here. Alright, well he just sacked it. Fucking saved Reichland the bitch. Yeah, no, we're fighting this manually. Alright, no problem, let's go. Saving disaster battle? That battle was 100% impossible. There was nothing I could do about it. There was nothing I could do. We were outnumbered by such an absurd degree. Enter the battle, concede defeat to save secondary lord. Oh, who cares? That guy wasn't important. Anyway, if I had done that, Reichland would have just smashed me. I would have been stuck. Just, whatever. He was gone anyway. Uh, uh, that's interesting. I can still work with that. Coming in from their rear. Alright. Dropping down their morale is going to make a big difference, so let's do that. It's not going to last much longer. Let me pull it out. Moving fast. Worship the flux. Let's go stand over here somewhere. I go. I will see them burn. Lord. 
Just a little bit more and we can kill him. Alright, they've got mortars shooting at us. We need to hurry up and get over there straight away. They spread their forces out all over. Ooh, watch out for that. Just got to get someone to just touch those. There. Gone. Good. That guy's gone. Good. All right, now damaged infantry. We should keep back. The Chaos Warriors are fine to march up. These ones are fine because they're just part of the garrison. Did we kill their lord or did he just leave the battlefield? He fled. Okay. Kill him next turn then. Trolls are taking a bit too much damage there, let's pull them back. Okay, now it's really important that we try to run them down as best as possible, since this isn't a siege battle, they're not going to all get wiped out when we win. But this battle went pretty damn well, I think. Okay, 
And why is that? Was, looked like it was wavering, but I don't know. Eddie did a five dollar super chat. Uh, just sorry, just give me a second. Okay, uh, five dollar super chat. Nice to get to stream online. I have one question: Is the Bugman Ranger still a viable Doom stack? I'm still new to the game, uh, playing Belligor right now. Yep, absolutely, that's still a viable Doom stack. That would be his uh, Belligor's way to go, I think. Usually, you don't have to do it, but yeah, you can do that, and it works quite well. Thanks for super chat, dude. Appreciate you. Alright, there's the army losses. Cool. No units got wiped out. That went pretty well. Garrett Ratchford did a final super chat. Are Iron Demon Skullcrackers worth recruiting as standalone units now, or is it better to save the recruit slots for more Dreadquakes? Do whatever you want. It do, it, there's no right or wrong answer with that stuff. <laughs> the game is not difficult enough where it's it's going to have rigid sort of guides like that. Like, if you want those units, get them. If you Like, here's the thing. When I played Chaos Dwarves, you can pretty much do the entire campaign just using Hobgoblins. So any of the actual core Chaos Dwarf units, they're just bonus. So just do whatever you want to do and don't worry about being optimal. Like if you're struggling in your campaign, that's not because you're not recruiting the right units. Eddie became a new member. All right, thanks dude, appreciate that support. Yeah, the Chaos Dwarf don't have any bad units, really. So, don't worry, don't focus too much about what's optimal. Focus on what you enjoy. Because there, there really isn't an optimal way to go about it. I think that's actually good game design when, um... There isn't one obvious path. Do you think Hyles are in need of new content update? Uh, I don't think it should be a priority. They had plenty from Warhammer 2. I don't think it should be a priority. But every faction could benefit from it. I don't think there's a single faction in the game that would not benefit from some more updates and content. As long as it's, you know, good stuff. But yeah, it's, I don't think it's a priority. Don't be a meta slave in three. That's fine. Yeah, that's the big thing with with Warhammer three. Don't focus on the meta. The meta is just whatever you want. This game is not as good as Warhammer two, so just focus on what you enjoy, because there the, the there is no meta, not really. Like what I'm doing in this campaign is not meta. I should have I should have vassalized some of these factions. I'm choosing not to. I should have gone north, choosing to go south. So what I'm doing right here isn't meta. Just do what you have fun with. Because if you don't, you're not going to enjoy this game and you're going to uninstall it really quick. Because it's not as good as Warhammer 2. In my opinion. Some people think it's better, but... And that's fine. Um, but I don't.
We're discussing Purple Sun. Your thoughts, if you've used a new buff version. I haven't used it. So I might use it in this campaign at some point, but I haven't uh, used it yet. Like, here's the thing, guys. I have not really played that much Total War Warhammer 3 since the Shadows of Change DLC. I haven't played much. Mostly just do disaster battles, a few live streams here and there, but I'm really not playing it in my spare time. Because here's the problem, if I played it in my spare time, I wouldn't be live streaming right now. Because I would be sick of it. Um, I have to take breaks from this game, or else... I just won't be able to cope because it's just, it, it'll do your head in if you just play it non-stop. You just, you just can't play this game non-stop like it was Warhammer 2. It's just not as good, in my opinion. Festus, the Lich Lord. Uh, their army must have gone somewhere. Not possible. Yeah, I'm in less of a rush to go and take out the vampire accounts, considering that they only sacked the settlement. Who cares? That's not that important. Unfortunately, it just means that we're not going to finish off Reichland. <laughs> so, what they've done there is ensured that Reichland survives a little bit longer. So, what I'm going to do is finish off Wissenland and then run back over here. But I kind of expect these guys to launch an attack on me. Oh, right, they did this. Do they want peace? Do not waste my time. Probably lose a little bit of ground. All right, here's what we do then. Here's what we, do. we need to we need to get back sooner rather than later. So I'll have this guy launch the attack here. Here, transfer this in. I'll have him launch the attack, and we'll try to get Festus back up this way quicker. Uh, Viet Huang did a D Dong 49,000 super chat. Hi, Legend. Do you have a plan for a Crocgar stream? I didn't have a plan for this campaign until today. So, no, I don't, I don't plan these campaigns in advance. I'm doing it day by day at the moment. That doesn't mean I won't do a Crocgar stream. I just don't have any plans for it right now. Uh, I think we're okay to order that. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I think I'll actually blow it up. Since we're not pushing down this way right now, and it's of no little to no value to me. Although, marble is going to be very useful. Just not right this very second. Alright, you're going to need to be disbanded. I'll just recruit you again later. And Festus needs to fucking leg it over here to finish off Reichland. And as for them, My hand. they'll probably make some kind of counter-attack. I'll worry about that later. Um, how about, how about you guys? No, they don't want to do it. I was going to sell them Dot and Back, but they're not taking it. Ooh. Oh, I'd have to give him Grunberg. I don't have any other bargaining chips. Fuck it, just do it. Yeah, if they can take out Whistle, then that'll be good. My hand. Is formation attack for Cathay still terrible? No, it's fine. It's nothing spectacular, but it's it, it's fine. It's not terrible anymore. Yeah, don't bother. If we're gonna build anything, I'll need to build this, but it's only it provides such a small amount of defense, so just leave it. All right. I don't want them getting Altdorf back. But there's no troops left to recruit, so... I can't really do much there. There's only two here, not much. I've got more here. Okay, that's fine. Kyle Cheney became a new member. Alright, thanks. Do appreciate that support. Yeah, that's good training. I need to, need to level up these damn marauders. They're not good anymore. 
Sparkle revealed all. A measure of focus. Oh, I tell you, what we could get a new exalted hero. Do I have any reserved ones of Nurgle? Have this. <laughs> Jesus, why did I save that one? Um, no, I just get it fresh. It's way cheaper. Yes, my lords. Do I get more? No, that's all I can get at the moment. Yep, we need more cash and. All right, that'll just have to do. Well, that was a bit of a curveball that uh, Heinrich Kemmler threw at us. Yeah, okay, let's get that one. Such compelling advancements. Yep, this is all fine. Let's move on. Have you seen the SSHIP mod for Medieval 2? It makes the game really hard. Um, I haven't tried it out. Is it only me or did Warhammer 1 and 2 have way better voice acting than 3 does? Uh, no, I don't necessarily disagree with that. I think that the voice acting in Warhammer 3 is just fine. I think Balthazar Gelt gave that settlement back to them. Kind of want to run a Warriors of Kaz campaign where I only use vassals to achieve victory objectives. I kind of feel like that would be very boring, but you, know, you do whatever you want. Of the plague guard's instrument. Do not wait. Love the city. We're probably going to end up losing Dot and back. That's fine. Might even end up losing Nuln. But I've got to take out Reichland before they get back to full strength. Nope, I don't think that's going to work. No! On route. Do oh, not Francis take back. me for a fool. Mm. All right. After capturing Uber's Reich, we're definitely going to go for Helmgart. Finish off Reichland once and for all. And then once we've taken, I, I might just blow up Helmgard. I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't really have much value to me. We should definitely go take out Heinrich Kemmler. Festus will have no trouble taking him out, but that army there didn't stand a chance. Alright, let's have a look at diplomacy, see if there's anything to do. Alright. Now we're good. Okay, I think we're fine here. Yeah, there's nothing much to do. Just saving a bit of money wouldn't hurt. I do really want to build this, but it's quite expensive, and 5% extra resistance for just Chaos Warhounds, because I don't have any Manticores. It's just not very valuable right now. Too many of these, but it's all I've got available. Going up into the mountains here, we might find... There's a What's the yeah, there's some units over there that we could um, we could grab. 
Hmm. Mountains are quite good for, um... Oh, well, there's some mountains. Okay, there's a giant. Okay, that's actually quite good for us. Alright, let's 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 definitely go for Heinrich Kemmler. That'll be really good for us. Can AI Gelt bring back Reichland? Yes. Yes, he can. Because um, we saw that he gave back Wissenden's settlement. So yeah, he can do it as well. Why is Nuln the Dark Fortress and Altdord not? I think there's law reasons behind it. That's the only reason I can think of. But that was probably the smartest thing for him to do. There was no way he was going to defend Uberzreich. So I don't bother repairing this because if you do, they'll definitely attack it. I need some more time. And it's not like it has any value. Your demise will be the beginning. Uh, okay. I, I figured this would happen eventually. And they just didn't do anything. Okay. Everyone's being mean to me. Alright, I expect to lose Hergig, and that's fine. It's not an important settlement. There are 10 units that I re can recruit here, though. Give me 17 units. That's that's defensible. What comes slithering along the ground? Yeah, unless they throw everything they've got at me, which they bloody well might. Deliver your missive and then Yeah, they probably will. I cannot. So then again, Empire AI is really bad. Yeah, it'd be one thing it was vampire counts, but Empire is no big deal. Man, I'm gonna fucking start again with those guys. Oh, no, I don't. With that guy, I don't. Alright, well. we will start somewhere. You dare. Now they oh, there goes all my money. This guy's not on Divided Lord. Just leave it as it is. The plague guard. Got enough movement that I can sack and occupy. It's all gonna go down to tier one anyway. I could use the money. I should have attached him. Oh well, do the next turn. Yeah, I'll get rid of one of these. Um, yeah, it's fine. Okay, next thing to do. Is there anything I could do to improve my economy a bit? Got just enough money to build that. That'd be good. I was playing a Festus campaign last night. You actually... Sorry. Last night, actually, can you not get Hammerstorm of Hellbrass with him? What? Or Hellbrass. Um, I don't, I don't think you can get Hellbrass. No, there's no way that a Zinch character would join Nurgle. Uh, Hammerstorm should be able to. I gotta be rank 15 for that, don't I? Yeah, we're not quite rank 15 yet, so... It should happen next turn when I assault Helmgart. I'm gonna recruit another Lord here, because we need to be level... Oh god, I don't have enough money. Alright, hold off on this then. Because we've got, we've got to train up our lords. That's going to be worth a fair bit of... Um, fair bit of experience there. Okay, we've also got... We don't need growth, so let's just spread corruption. No need to repair any of that stuff. not going to do anything. 
Okay, might be a good idea to give these guys the missile resistance buff. What's this do? No, it's crap. Yeah, a bit of extra missile resistance can go a long way against Empire factions. And let's move on. So that there is a little bit iffy, but we'll see how we go. Can the AI still take away legendary heroes? Not sure. Would you play Total War Saga The Emu Wars? Probably not. No, I'll be honest, I, I don't like any Saga games. I think that the Saga brand is trash. It's not that they couldn't make a good Saga game, they just haven't. They haven't yet made a good Saga game. And if you say, what about Fall of the Samurai, it's not a Saga game. Sorcerer of Fire. Let me have a look and see what we can path the glory with him. Can't path the glory him at all. Hmm. What was his trait? Open dies. We shall weave the fates. Hmm. Yeah, that guy just needs to hold back. Impossible. Tell her backland, at least until we're done with Reichland. And, oh god, we might be a while. Um, Death before if I could build some defenses there. Again, it's two grand for friggin' three units. I mean, two Chaos War is not too bad. Oh yeah, it provides defensive supplies plus 500, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't make it a minor city battle. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> didn't, didn't update this from like a year ago. And then again, I'm not entirely sure. I guess we could test it out. Who knows? That might actually save our ass. The second date. Contagious death. All will not. Ah, yeah, that's right. You need a boon. The gods direct me. We will infect. Glory awaits. Yes, good. Make okay, the devils. Dream magic. My lord Sinch agrees. Isn't that place a major summon battle anyway? No, not for Warriors of Chaos. Alright, let me see here. Can I forget? Oh wow, he's rank 2. Um, okay. I think auto resolving would be a mistake, because we need to move fast. We need to fight this manually. But because of the way that this fort settlement works, I think that using a chaos chariot is a mistake. We should go with on foot, actually. Because we have quite a few characters here, we go on foot and just use Festus. They they won't be able to do anything to us. <laughs> uh, yeah. Just gotta wait for these reinforcements. Chad rank two friends. Yeah, well we fought him first time, he was only rank one. He just didn't hadn't chance to fight any battles. And this is something that you'll see in the game, right? Like Vlad will power level up really quickly because he's got a starting enemy, but you'll notice that the secessionists aren't there for Carl Franz, which is actually detrimental to the AI because 
they don't have a punching bag faction to begin with. Like, nobody's really going to attack them when the, in the first five turns that we normally have those guys um, fighting. So, by Creative Assembly giving Carl Franz all of Reichland, AI of Carl Franz, that is, all of Reichland to begin with, they've actually done him a big dirty. So, it's interesting how this game works where having more enemies at the start can actually be beneficial for you. Wasted XP, man. What do you mean? Wasted XP. Who cares? You don't need to mid... I very rarely, like, mid-max to the max in this in this game. You just don't need to. Like, trying to squeeze an extra 10% experience points, who cares? It just doesn't matter. This isn't the kind of game, I think, that... If you sit there with a spreadsheet and be like, "Oh, I can get one percent extra here and two percent extra there," you're just gonna, just gonna burn out. Upgrade units before battle. Oh yeah, there's a few units here that could use the upgrade. Uh, I don't think it's gonna make any difference because they're not going to, um, they're not gonna participate in this battle because these towers here. They'll rip them to shreds on the approach, but they're not going to rip these single entities to shreds. We got heaps of magic here, so we just get into a wind, uh, like a, a blob. <gasps> I don't have fucking Shatterstone because this is technically not a walled settlement. How dare they? Hmm. I'll have to go through the gate because Festus can't go up on the walls. It doesn't actually, that shouldn't actually matter, because we can put these guys up on the walls, and Festus can still help them out. Yeah, because Festus could, like, just be on this one here. And even if I can't get him up on the walls, he can still provide a lot of value. <laughs> One guy was carrying five ladders. What ladders? Okay, so at the moment, Festus... Yeah, he's, oh, he's already dished out 4,000... Oh, then again, I am casting spells. That's a bug, since Shadowstone applies to high-up gate settlements. Oh yeah, it's definitely a bug. But it'll never get fixed. Carl Franz can't make up his mind, but at the moment, he is still getting hit by the Harbingers and Pestilence. can't make up his mind on what to do. Yeah, uh, we just got a bit of a red alert. This happens. You yeah. know, it happens. What are you going to do? I didn't get cut off, but... Look, look at the bitrate. The bitrate's high. Uh, I guess it's just connectivity issues. Can't do anything about it. Should only take a moment, because the bitrate is still quite high. It's actually higher than it's supposed to be. There we go. It's back in the green now, we're good. Stay up on the... Oh. 
Four Chaos Lords, one Emperor. So you can see here, we are still dishing out damage with Festus. Franz has given us a bit of a smacky. Bit of a smacky. Alright, get up on the walls again. Get up on the walls. Come on, guys. Back up on the walls. If this guy dies, he's only rank 1. I'm only really concerned about this one. Get up on the wall. Don't you dare rout. Come on. Couldn't be that hard. Dipshit. This guy's got way higher stats. Will we have Bolton? Uh, really hard to say. Starting to feel like we're not going to get Bolton. But we don't, don't know for sure. Yeah, they're trying to bait me to come off the wall. I'm gonna switch this over because this guy here needs heals. I think we've only got I've oh, got two more of those. Bad for four wins of magic. Yeah, Carl Franz is going specifically for this guy whenever he can. Carl Franz is almost gone. All good. In Manford campaign, would you recommend going north against Central or non-aggression with him and going south to deal with Clackwa or Iron? I don't want to be getting tagged in. Um, I don't think Cetra would accept the non-aggression pack, but you ha if you have the option to do so, then yeah, I would do that and focus on the Lizards because they definitely won't get a non-aggression pack with you. But in the campaigns that I've played with Manfred, I just killed everyone. <laughs> just, yeah, just fight everyone. Vampires are stupidly strong. Why not just kill everyone? How's our sea campaign going? It's over. We'll, we'll do a new one soon, but that one is over. So this guy's getting some heals. Okay, running low on magic, but I think Festus has more than done his worth already. Oh shit. Half Francis is out of the game. We got him. He's out of here. Good stuff. Alright, now we need to try to make our way over here. Let's try to cap this if we can so that we don't get shot by it. 
and try to open the gate so that Festus can come inside. Right. That's safe. You can move across there now. Would you say Festus is the best Chaos Legendary Lord other than Bellico and Archeon, obviously? Um, yeah, you could argue that. Yeah, Festus is particularly... is, is very good. So yeah, you could make that argument. I, I've got to um, caution people about using the term best, because there's so many different ways that you can judge a character. Yeah. Oh, Festus, he's terrible in melee. You know, there's stupid ways to judge a particular character. It just depends on what you value. So, if you're looking for a duelist, then obviously Festus ain't your dude. If you're looking for the best Boys of Chaos spellcaster, Legendary Lord, then yeah, he's, he's your guy. Probably. It depends. If you're looking for heal magic, he's his best. Um, obviously, Village has a lot of merit as best spellcaster, just depending on what you're going up against. The village has no ability to heal anyone. Alright, this guy's almost reached his max heal, so I'm going to pop that down and... Last one of these. Make a count. Yeah, that's useless here. My God's call, Sorcerer Lord. Blessings of war. Hot seat, Pharaoh to the war. I'm not getting Pharaoh. Like, if, if people want to hot seat Pharaoh, by all means, I don't have a monopoly on it. If, you know, do whatever you want. Uh, I'm not getting involved with Pharaoh. No way. Funny, I thought the wizards would hit their um, regen caps before this guy. Okay, out of magic now. Uh, most of their forces should be dead by this point. Mm. It's getting there. can do unlimited casting range and sieges. That's cool, uh, I just don't need to. I'm out of magic now anyway. It was a joke? Yeah, that's fair enough, that's fair enough. It's hard to um, convey tone through text, though. Fest is still racking up loads of damage. About 60 damage a tick at the moment. Cool. Alright. I think we're going to need to switch Festus back to this just for a moment because he's got to heal these guys up a bit. Okay, that looks like the... Nope, not the other horses. But we've almost taken control of this, and that way we'll be able to get Festus inside. 
which will mean a, a greater area of effect. And plus, he's still got uh, loads of healing he could potentially do for himself. But yeah, you can really sort of see the power of single entities in this sort of fight here. The AI just can't do anything to us. I got all this army here. This is for field battles. These guys here are for sieges. <laughs> they just single entities just dominate sieges. Kind of ridiculous. Okay, we'll open the gates. I need to bash them. Bringing in their cavalry now. Gates open, but Festus can't walk in through. Okay, maybe I should just get him to attack this. Some of our guys are looking a little bit worse for wear, but they've just got to hold out a little bit longer. The army losses is any moment now. Because if you have a look here, Festus has the Mortis Engine effect going on. And he is doing 100 damage a tick right now, because there's so many units here. And they're bringing even more. It's just going to just get them absolutely smashed. We just need our guys to hold just a little bit longer. Oh, Festus is in. He got gate bugged. But it's good in this case. We want him to come in. And there we go. Just do a little bit of healing before we go. <laughs> no, no deaths. Attila Hot Seat campaign went. I'm not going to get involved in an Attila Hot Seat campaign personally. I, I don't have it installed. Actually, I don't know about that. Maybe I do have it installed. Has CA ever given you free copies of Total War stuff to review play? Uh, yeah, yeah, um, sort of, yes. Depends on what you mean by review play. So I, I do sometimes get early access. Um, I am what I like to call grey listed with Creative Assembly. I'm not blacklisted, I'm not white listed. So I'm not automatically guaranteed to get a key from Creative Assembly. They'll just pick and choose which ones that they send to me. Because I don't I don't go begging for it or anything like that. Because um, obviously I'm not on great terms with them. Um, so in the case of Pharaoh, they decided, which I believe they correctly assumed, that I wasn't going to like it. So they thought it's in their best interest not to give me early access to Pharaoh. Because I'll only say bad things about it. They're probably right. But in the case of Total War Warhammer, I actually like this game, so they are probably, I'm not going to speak, I don't know, um, they are probably going to give me a key for Thrones of Decay, unless they deem, unless they think I'm going to cost them sales. I don't know. Free my man from the grey, he ain't do nothing wrong. No, no, honestly, I don't mind being grey-listed. Grey-listed is fine. Oh, hey, Potato McWhiskey, what's your biggest hobby outside gaming? Ha! <laughs> I own the game, that's it. That's, that's all I got. It's just that... My... I just play other games, that's all. I play more other games these days than, than uh, Total War. The gay list. No, grey list. I could subjugate Reichland. Yeah, I just raise it. And that should be the end of Reichland. Okay, time to get our revenge on... On this... Fucking vampire dipshit. Come. Festus. 
a lich lord. These two should definitely be attached into Festus's army because he can um, give them extra healing cap. I'll put all of the Chaos Warhounds in here because I care about them the least. Now, we should the definitely consider upgrading these guys as well to Chaos Warriors and Nurgle. Don't think we need um, great weapons. Just regular variants, fine. Ooh, armored trolls. If I don't do that, people are going to complain. <laughs> so it's fine. Alright, do we have any other units we can recruit? Oh, yeah, there's a bit. There's a bit. Um, yeah, money's not fantastic. If I'm going to recruit anywhere, it should be here. I foresee destruction. Ruin. The gods smile. True gamer? Oh yeah, all I do, all day long is play games pretty much. Of blight. It's my one true hobby, I don't do anything else. Uh, what do you think Nurgle needs most from Thrones of Decay to make them fun to play for you? Well, um, we got to be clear that we're talking about Demons of Chaos Nurgle. Not necessarily Festus the Leech Lord. I think Warriors of Chaos Nurgle is good. Um, I don't know what you can do. It's just what they currently have is just a bit weak. Um, I actually don't really enjoy collabing with people much. Also, when would you consider getting uh, consider going with great weapons? Um, I would only consider going with great weapons if we're going up against heavily armored opponents. So if you're going up against dwarves, you can switch them. So I can switch them at will, and it'll just cost 132 each. So the main benefit that you're getting with Chaos Warriors of Nurgle, if we have a look at the stat differences, right? You lose 12 melee defense, and you gain 2 weapon strength, but you gain a lot of armor piercing. You also lose a shield. So if you're going up against something that doesn't have a lot of missiles, but also has a lot of armor, then that's t the time to use the Chaos Wars uh, great weapons. Now, the thing to note is that every unit still has armor piercing weapon damage. It's just that this one will have a majority of it. So if you're going up against lightly armored units, which we're going up against the early game vampire counts now, we're not going to need the armor piercing. Most of his stuff is going to be... Um, Uh, skeletons and shit. We, we just, we need holding power. Because don't underestimate the power of... Of, um... Oh my god. Words. Of melee defense. <laughs> I don't know why that was so hard. Uh... Yeah, sure. My prayers are answered. How much would it cost me to turn you noble? I need to be rank 5. Psych91 did a fight with Hey Legion, how do you feel about aspiring champions? Would you choose them over chosen? Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes. Uh, aspiring champions are really good. For sure. So, I need to put 3 points into that. So, points for him. And slime try. That's pretty good. Yeah, let's go with this because I want, I want him to be a demon, and that'll also. A measure of yeah, it made us some more money. Well, reduce the upkeep on this. Instrument. Uh, Novi did a ten euro super chat. You've been my entry guide to to the one three. Friend gifted me the game, and your in depth explanation have me not relying on auto-resolve alone anymore. Alright, well that's that's good to know. I do find that there are a lot of people that auto-resolve a lot in their campaigns, which... There's... I feel like you're missing out on half the game if you don't fight the battles, but the, the way that the game is set up is that if you play on lower battle difficulties, and I consider normal and hard battle difficulties to be lower, um, then you're heavily incentivized to auto-resolve. Alright, I don't think there's anything else we need to do there. 
Although, why didn't they... Okay, why didn't they um, transfer the plague? Okay, that's fine. Yeah, there's no way this one here is going to win that fight. Got another guy here will be ready in a few turns. But yeah, just have to hold that ground there. And we'll just see how that goes. Alright, I've used up all my money. Let's move on. What do we got here? Nothing. Uh, just probably some new things are available. Let's move on. Yeah, I want my revenge on him. Plus, the uh, there's a giant here that I want to get. Uh, how much does a giant cost in upkeep? 360. Yeah, I think it's worth it. Since I asked you for a good historical total war, I bought... I bought Rome Remastered, and that was two to three days ago, and I'm already on 20 hours. Genuinely am sad that they got rid of so many things from that age of Total War. Me too. The The second generation of Total War games were the best in many ways. They got the formula absolutely perfect in those games. Like, the games themselves are not perfect, but they got the formula really well done. What happened there? Oh, shit, you took Marienburg. Well, I guess I'm going to take Marienburg then. Um... They really did the formula well in those games. What does Iron do for Warriors of Chaos? It gives uh, 10 armor for uh, Chaos Warriors. Rob S. became a member for four months. The hot seat was really cool. Glad you all decided to do something unique. That's cool. I'm glad you liked it. We'll definitely do more. I just, uh, they're not easy to organize, and so it, I can't just pump them out really quickly. Okay, there we go. We'll get Harold Hammer Storm. That'll be good. Marienburg's out. Alright, looks like it cost him a little bit to do that. Alright, looks like we could use a bit of extra wins. I don't mind if they launch the attack on us. If we have a look here... No one is likely to have lightning strike. It's not likely. Yeah, so looking at what we're going up against here, it's mostly unarmored units, so getting the great swords makes no difference whatsoever. They actually won't dish out more damage. Well, no, not really. Melee defense counts for a lot. Do you think it's possible to make a World War II Total War game? I think that Creative Assembly have the potential to do a lot. It really comes, the developers that is, it really comes down to this. How much are the suits, you know, the executives at the Creative Assembly, the people who actually make all the important decisions, how much are they going to invest into a particular Total War game? So you take something like Pharaoh as an example, where they have invested very little. Very, very little into that game. Um, so, it just, it just depends. But yes, they could do it, absolutely. Whether or not they want to do it is another thing entirely. I just, I just don't know. Uh, it's really hard to say what Creative Assembly's plans are. I, I hear a lot of rumors about like what the next Total War game is going to be, but I get conflicting reports. And so I don't really want to report to you guys on bad information. Like, one report was that the next historical Total War game is Medieval 3. But I've heard also conflicting information about that. So, I actually have no idea. <laughs> it's... You know. I just, I just don't know. I just have no fucking idea. Uh, how's it going over here? 
Yeah, they're just, just staring me down. Could go into ambush stance out here, but if that is actually a minor in my battle, they might win the battle before they even arrive. I just need to hold down the fort while Festus does his thing. Okay, so when looking at this, having missile resistance against vampire counts isn't going to do anything. Uh, souls gained from battles could be good. It would be good if we could learn this one here, but we need constant vomiting in order for that to be unlocked. So where do we get that? We get that from here. Spread plague, Festus rot 50 times to unlock. Okay, time to show you guys a exploit. <laughs> oh shit, I don't have enough money to do it. Yeah, okay, I'll show it to you later, but I just, I don't have enough money to do it right now. It's not really an exploit, but there's a way for us to power through that to unlock it really quickly. I just, I just don't have the money right now, so I, I can't do it. Doing it would be detrimental. But what I will do is I'll switch this, no, 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 not the Brass Keep. I'll switch Festus's Plague to this one, since none of these are going to provide any serious benefit. But getting extra souls from battle would definitely help. Um, is there any other things here that could be beneficial? Oh, uh, that could be good if that gets spread over to them. Speed doesn't matter. No, that's crap. It's crap. All this stuff is fucking garbage. Yeah. And then, if we want to spread it, we do this. Yeah! It fucking worked! <laughs> But it, yeah, okay. So transferring units back and forth is how you can spread it constantly, but we ran out of movement there. I need them both to be on channeling stance just in case they decide to attack this one. Alright, let's move on. Total War Lord of the Rings. Yeah, Total War Lord of the Rings is the kind of game that Creative Assembly would probably invest a shitload of money into if they could get the rights to it and they could feel it would be profitable. I think right now it's probably not going to happen because I think Total War's reputation has been severely tarnished over the past 18 months. So I just don't think that that's going to happen yet. It might happen one day. I think it's far more likely that Warhammer 40k Total War will happen. Oh no, look how many of them they're coming. Attack Festus, attack Festus, attack, yes. Okay. Festus had the most magic. Okay. Wow, jeez, fucking in-game crisis. No. Well, it's all trash. It's all just goddamn trash. Alright, what do we have to worry about here? Is there any Mortis engines? Okay, no Mortis engines, good. Do we have any area of effect damage coming in? No. They don't have any winds of death. No. That guy's on a corpse cart. No. They've got healing, that's about it. What's this? Ah, uh, okay. Well, that, they've only got one use of that. I will control large armies here, because I want them all to come on to the battlefield as soon as possible. Alright, let's do this. Now has never been an easier time to get a Lord of the Rings IP. Yes, I understand that. But that doesn't mean that Creative Assembly feels it would be the most profitable venture for them. They might find other fantasy things to be more profitable i don't know because you got to understand this as well that even though you if, if you could get the license to make lord of the rings total war let's just say a that he they have to deal with the tolkien estate and the tolkien estate asks for let's just say 40 percent of the profits so they're like oh 40 percent of the profits but then they can go to fucking harry potter total war right and harry potter is like okay just give us 10 percent of the profits so they'll go for that because it's cheaper something like that or they'll just wait a little bit longer, wait for a better deal. But, again, I don't know what's going on with Creative Assembly. They may already have the rights to Lord of the Rings Total War. I just don't know. But I just don't think it's as simple of as, oh, they can make it, so they should make it. Not necessarily the case. 
patrols will be good here because they got no missile units. You guys will be good. Blob. They have no. They have no means of dealing with Blob. Okay, all we're gonna do is wait for them to come at us. But yeah, don't get me wrong, I would absolutely love for a Lord of the Rings Total War, even though I'm not really into Lord of the Rings these days. Um, I think I've had enough of, of a break from Lord of the Rings that I, I reckon I could get back into it. But... I would say to Creative Assembly, don't bother making a Lord of the Rings Total War game unless you're going to do a good job of it. This is not the kind of game you can half-ass. But because they've already done Total War Warhammer, I think they can do Lord of the Rings Total War. I, th I think they can do it. Could go into the corner here, but I want to keep them hidden. Could okay, let's maybe try to make a run for the corner out this way. Thing is, by the time I get there, they might decide to attack us. It's okay; it doesn't have to be a perfect blog. What about a total war game about the Mongols? Look, I reckon you could make a Total War game about any point in history. There will be... Well, you know, as long as there was actually wars going on. Um, which is most of history. As long as you do a good job of it. And there's definitely time periods that would be more interesting than others. So, for example, the Bronze Age Egypt era. I don't think it's the least popular time period to choose. But I also don't think it's the most popular. But I also think that when it comes to Pharaoh, for example... Um, they're doing themselves a disservice by reusing Troy and by claiming it's not a saga game when it bloody well fucking is a saga game <laughs> and charging such a huge price for it. All of this stuff is hurting the, the player count for this, this game. It's, it's fucking doomed. There's no way it's going to succeed. Um, but yeah, if they made a Total War Mongolia and they made like a, a new engine... And what I mean by a new engine is just not like a complete reskin of an existing one. You know, tweak it enough that it doesn't look identical to Troy. Um, unlike Pharaoh. If you uh, if you did that, like if you took a Total War Attila, for example, took Total War Attila and get the existing battle mechanic from Total War Attila, completely change the way the campaign. Look, do this. You take the battles from Total War Attila but the campaign from Total War Troy and somehow managed to make that blend and then I think you'd have actually have a pretty good Total War game. Because the thing is, the battles are the worst thing about Troy. The by far the worst thing, but the campaign is actually really quite good. Um, I would have played more Troy if I was able to just order resolve all my battles, but I feel like if you just order resolve all your battles it's kind of boring as well. Because uh, I quite like the campaign aspect of it. But with Attila, it was the opposite. I fucking hated the campaign. All I wanted to do was fight battles. But the campaign was just such a fucking pain. So, if you can just get rid of the campaign from Total War Attila, but keep the battles, I think you've got a good Total War game there. I fucking hate the, uh, the campaign in Total War Attila. God damn, it's so stupid. I hate the campaign AI. The army is hidden now. Yeah, but they remember where I was. It's okay. In Warhammer 2, they forget where you exist, but in Warhammer 3, they remember. Legend, you've got the low ground. Good. Eat my mortis engine. Look at me, bitch. I'm the mortis engine now. Also, the giants are fantastic against vampire accounts because giants basically beat everything in melee. 
but they get shot down really easily. Sometimes. Why is it only 30%? Oh, right, because I don't have the missile resistance um, plague on, right? Would you settle for Empire 3? Uh, I think we need Empire 2 before we get Empire 3. <laughs> uh, look, I would be fine with Empire 2 as a Total War game, as long as they did a good job of it. Like, if okay, if you took the gun warfare for, straight out of Fall of the Samurai, and like the way that the, the way that guns work in Fall of the Samurai, and you import that into Empire 2, I think that's fine because the guns guns have never been better than they were in either Medieval 2 or no no I'm going to say the guns have never been better than they were in Shogun 2. Fall of the Samurai just does guns really well. Really really well. Did you do some damage there? What happened? Okay, unless I've not seen some kind of mortis engine effect that they've got I think we're pretty good. Yeah, there's, I knew that was coming. Oh my god! That f that blast did so much damage. Well, that's the only shot that they've got of that. <laughs> so, unfortunately, I can't really heal that so easily. You get one. You get one. And it was evenly spread out damage, so it's fine. And look what I get to do now. Alright, I think we need this. Full Samurai does artillery well, too? Yes, absolutely. Festus is already out, damaged that guy, just doesn't have the kills. Yeah, Festus has already dished out more damage. Oh my god, he's corner camping, what a cheeser! Better off using Festus's magic. Alright, Giant, you need to be focusing on characters. Is that Krill? Uh, stay away from Krill, though, because Krill's anti large. Do you like gunpowder-based naval battles? Yeah, I don't mind them. I, I think that was the best thing about Empire and Napoleon, so I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to seeing that again one day, the, uh, the naval battles. The thing I hated about Empire Total War was the land battles. God, the, the units were just so bad in that game. We're doing like 500 damage a tick. So how many units are still to come in? Oh, I don't know. 100,000 damage done with Festus. Chaos Giant has done 10,000 damage. It's good. Alright, need you to kill enemy lords. Because Festus isn't good at doing that. Right. Let's go back to healing for a little bit. A little bit, of, little bit of damage is being done. Oh, 
what Joel's doing. Uh, yeah, they're doing okay. 2,000 damage, but they're not taking much. Vampire accounts really lack early game anti-large. They've got spearmen, obviously, but it's not enough. Just switch these over once every now and again. Give them a bit of a heal, then go back to dishing out shitloads of damage. So yeah, they've got Master of the Dead here, but I'm definitely dishing out damage faster than they're healing. We need to kill these characters. Don't just stare at him, eat him. They're more crammed over here now. But they're all getting affected by Harbinger of Pestilence. It's also really good for experience for all of our guys here. Constant prolonged fighting. The crow brings death. Yeah. Funny you should say that vampire counts lack anti dodge. If you go with Festus, he doesn't have any at all. Oh yeah. Well, I'm not the one who's. Well, I'm the one who's bringing the big anti dodge. Uh, sorry, the large units though. Yeah, Festus doesn't have any anti-large units, does he? Well, that'll be DLC stuff, I imagine. Maybe Bile Trolls will be anti-large. Two hundred and fifty thousand damage done. Now, with most of the chaff fading away, it'll be easier for the giant to get in there and smash these bloody heroes. Undivided? Oh yeah, you're right, you can go Chaos Warriors. Just undivided, yeah, you could. Alright, I think we need to go to this for a little bit, because some of these guys are getting a bit damaged. They could use a bit of, a bit of tender love and care. Okay, I think Krell's been hitting us up a little bit. Oh wow, Krell's got no kills. This way. Oh shit, I got this. 
<laughs> wasn't using that. Yeah, it doesn't seem like I needed it. Battle should be worth a ton of souls as well, which is good. Need to get the need to pay the troll toll to get the boy's soul. <laughs> the giant just can't seem to land a hit on these characters because if he does, it would do a shitload of damage. But he's just not landing hits quickly. Do you think Medieval Total War 3 could be a saga game about Richard the Lionheart and the Crusades? Uh, you could do that. I don't, I don't think that would be the best way to go about it. I think they should go with big Total War game rather than lots of little ones. If you're going to do it like a saga game, do the big one first and then do sagas. Sort of like the Kingdoms expansion for Medieval 2. But you got to have the big one first. This one here is starting to get more hits in. Does it doing a bit of damage? Yeah, we seem to be really struggling against their single entities. That being said, they're not really doing much against us. We just got too much melee defense. Festus is here, 300,000 damage. Could use um, Rancid, nah, it's too expensive. Is a interesting concentration of them there. Oh, look, here comes bats. I'm doomed now, guys. Look at all these bats. I think a Total War Game of Thrones would be great. I'd be down for that, for sure. Again, as long as it's not a Troy reskin. <laughs> I just don't... I really don't want to play Troy again. I barely played Troy the first time. I'm down for any time period, fantasy or otherwise. Fucking even... Go ahead and make My Little Pony Total War, whatever. Just don't let it be a Troy reskin. We had Troy one, Troy once. That was enough. I, I don't need to see it again. It wasn't good enough to warrant a second Troy game. Which melee defense is this guy? Sixty-one. So seems he looks like he's got perfect vigor or something. He's not even tired. Thank you. 
I'm gonna say now we've heard Troy twice. Well, some people will have Troy twice. I'm not. I spent two hours and on Troy, and then I played Total War and Home again. And I think that's what's going to happen with a lot of people. They're going to go in and play Troy 2, and be like, this is crap compared to Warhammer, and then just ditch the game. It has no chance whatsoever of competing with Warhammer. Warhammer, absolutely none. And you know what the funny thing is? is Creative Assembly doesn't really care that it can't compete with Warhammer, as long as they get your initial sale. If you buy the game for a hundred bucks, and you play it for five hours, Creative Assembly wins in that case. That is the best case scenario for them. I mean, they're not going to sell DLC. <laughs> at all. Um, well, they just move on to the next Troy. Troy Mesopotamia. For the premium price of 120 bucks. We are really struggling against their single entities here. They're just not going down, but their regular units are getting slaughtered. Alexander Pearson did a $50 super chat. Hey Legend, thanks for all the content over the years. No worries, dude. It's been my pleasure. That's a very generous super chat as well. Appreciate that. It takes a long time to grind down this Nurgle army. Like this. Chaos Giant, 344 kills, 35,000 damage. But yeah, the, okay look, this guy here is actually at his max heals. He can't heal anymore. <laughs> so we've been doing damage to him. He's just, yeah, he just fucking heals. Alright, I think it's time for a bit of this. Curl's been doing a bit of damage. Surprised he didn't cover Chaos Force more than once. Um, well, a thing to keep in mind is that I didn't get early access to the Chaos Dwarfs, and by the time I did get access to them, the hype was pretty much over. It, the hype didn't last very long with, with Chaos Dwarfs. And also, I wasn't live streaming a lot, so I thought one was enough. Well, it definitely had more hype than Shadows of Change. Shadows of Change was fucking nothing. Absolutely nothing in the DLC. Oh well. Hopefully next time. Now their infantry are arriving, gives us more opportunity for this. I think I just need to army loss all these bloody characters. Spirit Leech, low hero lord. No, no, it's eight wins of magic. We can get two of these. We, we get more value out of that. Those characters aren't doing any damage to us. We're just not doing much damage back to them. Because if we just army lost them, that'll kill them off. We need to switch back to this. So a few guys taking some damage. 
Their units can't rouse, but ours can, so we need to make sure we stay in decent shape. Okay, this guy's getting smashed by probably Krill. Let's get him out of there. Of course, this is bloody useless. <laughs> 400,000 damage. So we've got two low damage, high healing factions grinding up against each other here. They've got more troops, but the quality's on my side. Well, they don't have more troops than me now, they're running out. Out damage. Oh shit, we're out of magic. Is the army ability not worth using? No, it's useless. Speed minus 45%. Who cares? It just doesn't do anything. I could use it, it just has literally zero impact, so don't bother. Okay, you need to get over here. I don't think this Chaos Giant's been hitting anything lately. I don't think it's doing any. No, it is. It is going up. Pass a stronger penalty. Uh, I don't think that's being applied right now. No, it isn't. Need to kill more of them for that to happen. Okay, I think we got rid of that Strigoi, so that's good. And this dude over here, he's next. Yeah, he's going down. If you could only play one game for the rest of your life, which game would it be? Probably Super Seducer. No. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I think if you told somebody that they could only stream one game for the rest of their life, the rest of their life wouldn't be very long. They'd get, ver they'd get ver bored very quickly. Um... I don't know, probably Warhammer 2, I guess. Or I would choose this if it was also continuously updated for the rest of my life, which I don't think it will be. So bloody hard to get rid of. Four hundred and fifty thousand damage done with him. It's not like these ones are doing nothing. They're getting loads of experience out of this. It's good. It's been a good battle for us. No units wiped out. I mean, it just it just takes a long time. That's all. They've sent they sent everything they had at us. 
Will I play hyenas? My trolls died. Oh, I didn't even notice. Uh, they wouldn't have died. They would have left the battlefield. <laughs> I just didn't notice. I lost two units. It, it would. They would have just left the battlefield. They're not dead. One marauder ran from battle. Yeah, that that will happen. They're still alive though. Yeah, I didn't even realize it. Yeah, playing hyenas. I mean, let's let's be let's be real. Are you? How about we do a poll? Are you gonna play hyenas? Let's let's have a good. I bet everyone's gonna um, <laughs> vote yes just to just to mess with the results. Will it be free? No, you'll have to pay for it. <laughs> free? Creative Assembly? No. The company that sells blood to you? <laughs> I just can't wait for the Hyena's blood pack. That's gonna be hilarious. It's industry standard! Alright, Heinrich, time for you to fuck off. Here we go, army losses. They finally send in the necromancers. Hey, look, there's 9% of people that said yes. You know, that's higher than what we got out of Pharaoh. So apparently more of you guys are going to play Hyenas and Pharaoh, which I don't believe you. I think that 8.999% of you guys are trolling. So, end this poll with bullshit. <laughs> it was bullshit poll. How's it going for sure? Yeah. Well, the damage isn't too bad. And yeah, see, look, the trolls are fine. They're just cowards. I think most of those people thought it would be free. I, know, I, th I think that the people who were voting yes were were taking the piss. People do that a lot on live streams. I did it for the Yeah, that's fine. You can do whatever you want, but... I gather uh, there's no way 10% of you guys are going to be playing hyenas. I don't. I don't believe that for a second. I'll when I see that, I'll believe it. I don't believe 10% for a second. 10% for Pharaoh, I can believe. 10% for hyenas, no, I don't believe it. No way that the same players that play Total War would ever, on mass, consider playing fucking cringe like hyenas. <laughs> just don't, I just don't believe it. It does look free to play, but it's not free to play. It's free to play in a, in a beta, but the the full game you will have to buy it. Note that it was ten percent of six hundred people. Yeah, and I, I don't believe that. One battle, 20 minutes. Yeah, that was a long one, but we killed so many of them that we shouldn't have to worry about another one. Oh, look at this. Oh, okay. 
right on clean one. It's only for five turns. This is not amazing stuff. I think that's not too bad. Yeah, that's powerful, but I don't need it. I don't care much for great unclean ones. Alright, I'm gonna get um, this one here. Because there's a few characters that we could um, devote to Nurgle. Whew. Oh good, Whistling's gone. Uh, we got we got Harold. We did. Nice. You meet a boom. Festus, the Lich Lord. Doctor on call. Never. Yeah, we don't, we don't want these characters getting away, but if I go attack that, I might have enough movement to get to Marienburg. Well, this guy really is. Because, yeah, don't let him get away. Good. How does kangaroo taste? But uh, it's, it's uh, I've only had it a couple of times. It's all right. Yeah. Oh sh! Okay, no, I know what to do. Just realize this guy doesn't have a siege attacker. Oh yeah, we do because we've, <laughs> we've got Shadowstone, of course. Well, we've now got them on the run. Let's see if Lewin will you want to join in on the fun. You will act no, like. he doesn't. Death to undeath. I am living history. Yeah, so he can't get any marks, can he? No. But we got oh, this guy so here. Born. Only costing me 940 now. That's significantly cheaper. Come on. Alright, here we go. We gotta hope for. Um, ooh, Eldris Aura is actually very good for all those giants. Um, uh, unearthly reflexes. Bless my cankerous rot. This is okay stuff here. Rank up in raiding stance. Yeah. Whatever, at least he's nurgled. Um, LB Lord Hass did an AED25 super chat. Last time I saw you playing Noctilus was in Warhammer 2. Is it on the schedule? Should I expect it soon? Uh, no, I, I wouldn't expect it. Vampire Coast have always performed like absolute ass. Um, so I'll think about it, but I'm probably. It's not really on my to do list. And I, I don't really. I don't really enjoy. It that much either. Feel Nurgle's vigor. But yeah, thanks for the chat. Okay. I foresee destruction. We should devote to Nurgle. My thing is, I don't know if I'm going to make this guy a demon prince. I might just keep him as this lord. Maybe. So, yeah, look. Passive ability life leeching. That actually makes him a better spellcaster than Festus now. 
So he should be doing the spell casting, not Festus. Because that's really good. Great pain shall be inflicted. Can't pass the glory of this one. Wizard Warrior sounds good. Don't need that. Nope. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's alright, I guess. Good. I think I will give him monsters. Monsters, oh hang on, I'll go monsters and infantry with him. So we'll get that first. Then I'll go monster strength. This supplements my knowledge. Decay brings life. Okay, that'll look fine for now. We shall weave the fates. Okay, fair few troops over here. Hmm. Yeah, unfortunately, Marienburg isn't really worth anything for us. Alright, I've got this guy here. Now, if I recruit him right there, what they'll do is they'll besiege it with one army and then attack with the other. Now, that guy's not immortal. So we don't want to lose him. So recruit him with crude involved. That would be better. And let's devote him now while we've got this active. Oh yeah, it's nice and cheap. Yep, do it. Good, I only lost two levels from that as well. That's really good. So yeah, iron skin's not ideal, but oh well. You don't get to choose that. So we can get a bound spell, Purple Son of Zerius. Win a battle against Nurgle. That's fucking hard to do because they don't show up. Um, all of these are pretty bad. That one's not too bad though. Is despair. Artifacts to empower me. Okay. Love the sick. I with the Say what you Okay. I reckon we send the smaller army to go and hit Gorosal. We're gonna need more troops then. Any construction needs to be done? Probably not, but let's have a look. Oh yeah, here we go. That's good. Let's do that. And more money is good. Reichland, yeah, that doesn't matter. Noln. Okay, let's build... Oh, I'm out of money already. Jesus Christ, that was expensive. Oh, look. Dirth is... Oh, he... As if he's not going to declare war on me any second now. <laughs> I'm probably going to lose Noln. Oh, well. Unfortunately, there's no... Um... Uh, dark fortresses out this way. We can go to Albion. There's something there for us. We'll have to take on Bellacore. That shouldn't be too difficult, though. Um, I think we're done here. I'll just move on next turn. Just see how things play out. Could you trigger a rebellion for Nurgle Army to spawn? Uh, I guess that's potentially possible if I could... If, if I could cause a rebellion. But I guess that is technically possible.
Why not Toxic tro Tropper? Boy, so it's a no brain pick with Noble Heroes. Is that the one that reduces armor by 10? That's not super impactful. I shall kill you. Then. Oh, what did I just say? It's okay. No one's not high level. We need to finish up this war with Heinrich Kemmler. There's other things coming up. Unit experience... Actually, I'll go to uh, hero experience because um, I don't want any more characters getting killed. This army here could easily beat that one. That shouldn't be a problem. Um, we need to split them up. Because, yeah, we've got threats on the border. Losing Grunberg is no big deal. Got a siege attacker here. I just don't have a lot of troops. If I recruit all of these guys, maybe we could overcome that. Because there's more than a full stack. Maybe. Because this guy here is on horseback. It gives us a big advantage. Just need more horseback. If I could squeeze my way into here, I could get that giant. Alright, why don't I hand over this Chaos Warhound into this army? That way I've got an empty slot and I don't have to disband it. Really try to clear out their armies. Oh, this guy here could potentially get it. Income's not the best anymore. Any pants of a giant up here? No, they should eventually spawn, but it hasn't shown up there yet because it's in a mountainous area and it's got chaos corruption. No army went over here. That one's gonna have to deal with it. Right, you might as well finish this off. I would like all of your stream and video if you stop using the fuck word. Well, sorry, dude. It's just this is part of being on the internet. You just got to get used to it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, I shouldn't be lazy, but I'm gonna. Yeah, we're fine. Grung's in's a good settlement for us. How strong is he? He's... I mean, I've got my hands full at the moment. Yeah, we, we should finish what we're doing before going after this. This is not essential, and we've got we've got other fish to fry. I think we can get away with an auto resolve here, as long as no units get wiped out. It's fine, yeah. It's fine. Uh, I think we can get away with a sack and occupy. Raising it is good for souls, though, but I've got to move quickly. We just need to get rid of these guys. Well, why don't I... Hang on, do I have enough movement to... No, I don't. I was going to say, if I could get over to here, that would be interesting. Oh, we get to upgrade this one. Fortified Chaos Altar. Adds walls to the settlement. Oh, I get defenses here. If 
I might actually be able to hold that. Alright. Go with the growth. And what do we have here? Yeah, nothing interesting. Yeah, I think I need to justify that money because I think it would be good to be able to hold that for sure. Look, pretty much all the Total War guys swear from time to time. There's very few of them that don't swear. In fact, some of them swear more than I do. So I don't know if you. Look, it's fair enough if you're like, oh, I wish you wouldn't swear, but look. It's just, I, I swear. What are you going to do about it? No, actually, yeah. Probably don't know, whatever. I look forward to the next patient. Alright, I'm going to need this guy on horseback soon, so let's do that. Take him to damage by switching them out. Good, you're on horseback. Good, gonna need that. Excellent. As we make our way towards Blackstone Post. Really want to launch the attack here. So, we've got 12 units here, so I have um, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 units. Basic bitch army. Yeah, I can win. I'm gonna fucking do it. I'm gonna do it. Sometimes you just gotta have balls. Now that I know where their other army is, you just gotta just gotta give it a shot. Oh boy, <laughs> we're asking for trouble here. I'm pretty sure party leaders never cursed in his life. Uh, you might be right about that. Who knows? I didn't say all of do it. Damn it, he has to force march. Which means... No, he'll be fine. If we lose, he still doesn't get wiped out. Regiment of an I'm asking for trouble here. Uh, okay, we need a plague. You should have the missile resistance one. Where's that? There it is. All right. Oh my god, I'm I'm really asking for trouble with this. Looks like yeah, we got red alert again. Yeah, yeah. More Fs. It happens. Just gotta, gotta, just gotta grin and bear it. Okay, what's this map look like? Because we're going to have the Shadowstone ability, right? Bloody well should. Okay. Sometimes I can work with this map, sometimes. I just wish I had another character that was fast. Unearthly Reef... Oh no, that wasn't this guy. Oh. This is going to be a tough fight. I really shouldn't be doing this. But this army was just sitting around doing nothing, so I had to do something. So here's what I'm thinking. 
We have to rely very heavily on this guy here. He's coming in from this reinforcement zone. We have these to stand back and just stare at them. This guy goes in, uses Shatterstone to get into the city, and then he goes around casting shitloads of spells and pissing them the fuck off. If I can make a run for here, I'll try it, but I don't expect I'm going to get very far. If I can draw all their forces over to here, that's when we make the push. Big, big push. Now, if I could hide these guys... I don't think there's anywhere I can actually hide in this. Yeah, there's nowhere I can hide. But we've got to wait for our reinforcements. There's no way we're going to be able to um, attack this. As is. We've got 90... 108 wins of magic. So I can work with that. Also, the thing about this guy here is that his streams of corruption should only cost 1.5 wins of magic. Technically 1.4 because of him having life leeching. Because what we need him to do is just thin these guys out by a crazy amount. Just thin out the herd. If he can manage that, get the odds to be a bit more even. Our Marauders... Oh my god, our army's garbage. <laughs> That's what I got. Sometimes you just have to roll with what you got. And unfortunately this guy's going to be on Force March, which means his speed is going to be reduced a fair bit. So yeah, that is four wins of magic, but really, it's not. What does it mean by miscast chance 50%? On a passive. I can already feel how much slower he is while exhausted like this. Those pistoliers. I hope they don't shoot at us. Good thing he can heal if we absolutely need to. A lot better if he wasn't on Force March, I'll tell you that much. Wish I had a, like a banner of speed or something on him. I should have checked to see if I had one. I don't think I did. Alright, at least they're not shooting with them. Alright, look at this. That's mostly undefended. Every little bit of damage that we can do with this is really going to help. I really don't think this one dude on Force March is going to be able to cap that point. I just don't think he's going to manage it. I think our best bet is for him to do shitloads of damage and lure these guys into areas where they really shouldn't be. He could quite easily fight these guys, I think, because they got no melee defense. Don't want to stay in prolonged combat if these guys are coming over here. Bring 
So this pistol is managed to do 36 damage, nothing, nothing major. Don't mind fighting them in melee as long as they don't have halberdiers as well to deal with. Now there's two units of pistoliers, so getting rid of them should be a priority because it's the only unit that can really pin them down. Definitely don't want to be using rancid visitations. Honestly, uh, the more cheaper spells are definitely going to be better in this situation here. Every kill we get is good. Got to make sure we've got escape routes as well. Also, the longer these um, capture points remain in their hands, the more towers they're going to build. That's not ideal. Problem with that there. I'm gonna put that down there. Because when I do make the rush up here, it would be good if these towers weren't shooting at us so much. No, wait for this to recharge. Otherwise, it just resets it. Come on, you can do it. Otherwise, I'm going to be kind of trapped here. Good to see a big cluster of them coming through here. Good, thank you very much. Go that way. Alright, so we've so far done 20,000 damage. That's good. It's just about softening them up a bit. If we soften them enough, we can launch an all-out attack and we should be fine. But we have absolutely tons of Winds of Magic. If we don't use it, we will lose. Because you know, these are not high-tier units. through there unless I could no I have to go through that hmm. it's just arches up on the walls here it would be easy enough for them to fight, but they'll bring everything else over, which is not what I want. Not yet, anyway. Let's give it a little bit longer. There's still so much more we can do to soften them up. Yeah, I think... Doing that on one of them is not worth it. Got to try to hit at least two units with this. I'm not going to bother trying to cap that one. 
Oh, they're, look, they're actually shooting at me. Unless you can get it to bounce. That's, that's an exception. If you can get it to bounce. Yeah, that's it. Double whammy. Still didn't do that much damage though. I don't think I'd make it there. With two guys on horseback, this wouldn't be a problem, but with one, ugh. They just take too long to cap. But he's barely even been touched so far. Killing this would be good. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Watch out, watch out, watch out. These dudes on barricades will fuck you up if you're not careful. And I... I can hit that. Yeah, it's alright. Barricaded that up. It's kind of good they're all spread out, but we've just got to do more damage to them. We've got a few units that are pretty badly damaged now. That's what we want to see. i got to be careful going up this way because if they block me off, I'm stuck there. So i got to make sure if I'm going to go for that, that I'm ready to go. Yeah, still here. No Fs. Um, it just briefly disconnected. That's all. Still here. It's just, it's just, it's just the internet. It's all good. No need to panic. It's all good. Start to play Nurgle music. Chaos music. Okay, so I think the balance of power has evened out a little bit. We've still got 75 wins of magic charge, so I've barely used up any. So we had 108 to begin with. And make that 76. So the thinning out of their units is definitely working. It's just a matter of is it going to be enough? Because yeah, we've done 33,000 in damage. Trying to waste their ammunition is a complete waste of time. It'll never work. Oh, very nice. I want to get another one of those. Oh, I've got to wait 20 seconds. Just part of the Australian experience? Yeah, pretty much. These things happen, just gotta move on. You know, we've, honestly, we've been through it so many times over the course of this channel. I don't know why anyone gets surprised when it happens anymore. Alright, doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to cap this point. Oh, I just realized as well, every time I cast a spell, I heal a little bit. That's why I'm not taking any damage. Huh, that's useful. That's good indeed. Uh, I don't think this is loca- Oh, hang on. Uh, that over there seems juicy. Not 
they want to shoot at me. Yeah, there's a few units there. You know what? I think I should just leave it. No, 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 I'll keep going. Keep going. Keep... I was just thinking that if I only break down. Oh, they didn't do this one. If I only break down one every now and again, they'll eventually pop down really high tier towers, which wouldn't be good for me. But I don't think. Look at that. We've actually got two capture points now. They're not prioritizing it. They didn't bother getting to that other one. Shame you can't check the regen cap anymore. I don't know why they removed that from the game. I don't know why they did that. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, 18 months into Warhammer 3 and they didn't bring that back. I just don't get it. You know that regen cap information was in Warhammer 1. Yeah, he's at full health. He's managing. Still got plenty of magic. We're good. Hundred and forty kills, but he has forty seven thousand damage. You can check the regen cap now, I think. Well you tell me how. Because I can't see how. Cool. few units over here. Definitely not a bad thing. Yeah, I really want to get rid of those pistol ears. How are we going with this? Yeah, I still, still got wins. Still got plenty of wins. No issues there. This guy doesn't have much melee attack. I think I need to avoid going into melee. Yeah, they're just ignoring this one here. I don't think that was a very good cast. That was probably the worst cast so far. That was shit. It's my fault. Trying to get all three, I ended up getting pretty much none. Yeah, when I try to get these archers, it just doesn't connect these attacks properly. That was a much better cast. Much, much better. Good. Well, 55,000 damage is essentially six units. 
six or seven units worth of units killed. Which evens the odds a fair bit, but I don't want to say it's quite a lot. I'm not done yet though. Oh, what if we got them to shoot the wrench? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, I don't think I want to fight all of these. No, no, I think, no, 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 don't bully me. What did I ever do to you? <laughs> okay, I don't think we can happen this. Yeah, they're somewhat shooting their own units as well. That's good. Yeah, it's not doing any damage. Okay. Definitely want to damage the pistoliers. Those are dangerous units to us. Quite a lot of troops. Are, what the hell was that? Oh, what the fuck was that? Someone's got a high tier tower somewhere. There's a tier 4 tower. And that one there. I need to either avoid that area. Yeah, I think I need to avoid it. Fucking tier 4 tower. The chances of them actually hitting me with that though is really low. But if they do hit me, it'll be quite devastating. Alright, we're down to 48 wins of magic. He's now done 60,000 damage. It's it's time. It's it's time. All right, it's time to launch the attack. We go. All right, these ones here go around this way. They need to open up the gate. I'll have this guy try to help them out as much as possible by distracting them. Spearmint. If I can manage to get these guys around through here they can cap that point super quickly. And they're actually not bad at running down the barricades either. <laughs> they abandoned that position. Brilliant AI, brilliant. They've been standing here the whole time and they decide to leave the moment I decide to attack. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Nice. It's gonna be hard to get those doggos through here. Marauder 
Let's go up over the walls. That would probably be best. Alright, let's hope these doggos do a good job. I need them over here. Let's go ahead and just drop that, pin them down. Need to get out, please. Okay, doggos are killing crossbows, which is exactly what we want them to be doing. Awesome. I think I'm gonna win. Unless I make a gigantic mistake at some point. Just hold on to that. Now we really need to thin out their melee units. I think they're gonna be the biggest problem. Just gotta watch out for that tower there. That's a tier 4 tower. Don't go anywhere near it if we can avoid it. Except for the single entity, because they will uh, be able to dodge it. Fighting those spearmen. Avoid it. Okay, want them to actually get out of the city, go back around over this way, and eat these archers over here. Who says you've got to stay in the city after you've gone in? Yeah, look at this, it's just archers over here, for the most part. Yeah, that one's shooting at us over here, so we should try not to advance this way. Go, go this way. Unless this guy can manage to uh, get rid of that. Okay. 
Go this way. Okay, now back out again. We're going to go all the way around to the other side. <laughs> Oh, hang on, no. Isolated crossbow. There's a few units in there that are a little bit of a concern, just a little bit. Go around that way. Eat up these pistol ears, good stuff. Alright, here's our chance. Let's go cap that, because that very dangerous area there. We are kicking their fucking ass in this battle. Holy crap. I've barely lost anything. Honestly, these doggos are doing so well for us. No, you don't. This way. Mainly just doing this so the passive heal gives these guys a little bit more oomph. That tier four tower, nice. I got a few casts left. Gonna make them count. Good. Charge just a little bit more. Don't stop us with our own dead. Dead one. Marauders 
Deplorable. Marauders attack. I plucked the shot. Haven't lost any of the um thingies yet. <laughs> what a load of shit. <laughs> What the fuck did I just pull off there? Can you believe you weren't sure you were going to win this? Oh, what, what can I say? Fuck, I don't know. <laughs> I, didn't, I barely took any damage. I'm telling you, Empire AI is like... A grade trash. So bad at the game. All they do is run around. That was a slog? Oh yeah, it was definitely a slog. But I had no right winning that. That was... This was shit. This is garbage. Like, if we had command of this, we would have absolutely destroyed this army. No problem. But the AI is just absolute trash, they don't know what to do. Um, I think I'm going to raise it. Because that's a fair few souls. Conjurer of Decay. Time Ooh. to scry. Jeez. All shall fester. Now, they're going to get kind of their revenge when they get to Grumberg, but whatever. Nuln is lost. I don't think I can do anything about it. Let me see if I can the peace out and give them... The are here to treat. No. I invoke the... No. There's not enough time to get that built. Oh, uh, actually, there might just be enough time. It's not going to provide a whole lot. We've got 10 units in there, and this will give us an extra 5, 15 units. I don't have any money. I'll ignore that. Alright, I'm going to put this here, and if it doesn't get attacked next turn, over this turn, I'll recruit a lord and recruit whatever's in there. It's the only way it's going to be saved. Still don't have much confidence in it, but we'll see how we go. Alright, well I need to save up this money because I feel like I'm going to go bankrupt soon. Everybody is starting to declare war on me now, because I'm a threat. Why don't you vassalize factions as occupied settlements are pretty much useless for cast warriors? I know, I just decided that I wanted to try to do this without any vassals. No particular reason, just, just want to see if I could. I, as I said at the beginning of this, I'm not playing this optimally. Oh yeah, it seems about fair. <laughs> If they just sack my settlements, that doesn't do anything to us. There's no economic value to it whatsoever. Did you manage to kill Carl Franz and get 100 plus AP for Harry? No, I didn't do that. I killed Carl Franz before, um, before Harry, uh, before I got Harry. I don't think that that is important. This is not important. I can always revive Carl Franz later and do it. Dark apothecary. Military presence of 11. Mm. 
worthy supplements to Nurgle's gifts. By the help I see. Well, it looks like Nuln will be able to build this, because I don't think they can Not reach there. So having those additional five units will definitely help. That army buggered out from there. What can Hmm. I think I'm just gonna have to keep that one there. Just keep an eye on the the army that's that's there, because this is just not good enough to be able to fight that. Doctor on call. You know, while Festus goes to Blackstone Post. Okay, I'm gonna need some cash. <laughs> the plague guards instrument love the sick. Alright. You need a boom. Alright, so let me have a look here. Do I have any no, I don't have any speed ones. That would really help you out in the battle. Um, Wolfenberg. Don't waste my time with petty Ostland. Make your offer and be done. Hmm. Then you get to Prague. But I also need to take out Kemperbad here. Oh, good. This guy's on horseback now, which means attacking walled cities, super easy. Super, super easy. All right, let's 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 actually head over this way and attack Ostland. Yeah, the fact that they got a full stack in there doesn't bother me. <laughs> yeah, going to ambush dance. Into hiding. Fine like that. Artifacts to empower me. Okay. Alright, alright. So yeah, I just What if I put this guy here on Because Harold Harold should actually be able to smash the crap out of them. The problem is they need guys that hold the line, and this isn't going to do it. This guy can kind of heal him. Decay brings ah, fuck it. Who cares? Let's go. Rot. I can pick up a few units from over here. Alright, so if I swing around We're this way, we must I can hit that next turn, and we'll just go into Ambush Dance, and we'll see if they move. Yeah, because if they come down here and I catch them in Ambush Dance, I'll probably beat them. It's just inside the garrison there's a bit too much. Just don't spend any more, because we are about to go broke. again and I can check the remaining region of a unit but only when the region cap has already appeared on the health bar of unit yeah I'm aware of that yeah wow 
Wow, that's a lot of armies coming in. Well, the defenses there will be built, and we could recruit the, the last few units needed to... Um, they might just go around it as well. Zero G did a five dollar super chat. I probably owe you from watching for years with that black on. Thanks for the entertainment. No, it's good. I appreciate that. Thanks for super chat. Yeah, now he wants peace. Now he wants it. No. The optimal thing would definitely have been to, for one thing, make some vassals and also go north rather than go south. Going south wasn't particularly profitable. Having vassals. But I wanted to just see how it goes. Interesting situation. Oh, you fucking kidding me. I thought I'd have enough movement, but I didn't. Are they still sitting there? Yeah, and they recruit a whole bunch of units too. Health is a not ex Every time I capture a settlement, it's not exactly giving me any income. <laughs> yeah, I need need dark fortresses. Yeah, we got units. This whole area here is in trouble, big trouble. But Festus should be able to handle them reasonably well. Like this isn't that dangerous. Could peace out with them. Approach me thinking they're in control, but I am the one that holds life or death in his hands. Probably best we peace out. As much as I want to punish him, and he'll just declare war on me later. Actually, let me just see. Can I get him to go to war with Argwilla? No, there's no chance of that. This will also give me enough money to defend here. Well, at least to put some forces in there. Alright, so now this border here is safe. For now. I mean, they'll they'll smash through eventually. But this gives us a chance to come down over here and smash these guys. Yeah, we just need to move down here as quickly as possible and uh, just try to hold on to it as best we can, I guess. <laughs> not much. Minus 500, whatever. Okay, so then we've got this over here. Opening up another front might seem pretty stupid, but I think it's important to keep in mind that they're going to declare war on us any moment anyway. So, it's, it's just going to happen. Whether we declare war or not. So better to strike first when they've got their pants down. I'll go with that. Always more. The bastards of chaos are here. We cannot. Fuck Sigma. No. The fly lord agrees. Drag Batoni into the vampire war? No, I tried that before. They weren't interested. Unleash chaos. Typically speaking, if someone hates you, it's really difficult to get them to join wars with you. Because whoever look, he's already got a bunch of wars going on. And he's already at war with the Shadow Legion. There's no way he'll accept any other wars right now. Okay, another thing I could do is sell them back, Gisero. Approach me thinking they're in control, but I am the one that holds Okay, or maybe I could sell it to Bretonia. This is Bretonia. No, I can't. Maybe I can sell it to Grom. Because of no value to me. Grom can hardly see you. Past Grom's belly. Yeah, because that way... Well, they're actually kind of friendly. Um, 
Yeah, okay. Bad job for the gobo Is that way they act as a buffer? Wipe them out. Okay, close to feet again. But this time it'll be a lot easier because we have two horse characters. And we're also not on Force March this time. And we've also got more Winds of Magic. And it's the exact same map. This will be way quicker this time. Way, way, way quicker. I think. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, way quicker. This isn't going to be a 40 minute battle. <laughs> but we'll see. Squeaky. I still can't get over how aggro Wood Elves are compared to Warhammer 2. Yeah, yeah, it's just a problem with their AI set, I suppose. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Legend of Bonus to that front is Erengrad, is right there too, since you need Dark Fortress. Yeah, I know. Well, not Erengrad is useless. Absolutely useless to the Chaos Warriors. Um, but Prague is not too far off. Alright, so just just chill. We should be able to do this with zero casualties as long as we wait for this guy here. Shouldn't take long. We have to take we have to draw all of these guys down over here, but that doesn't take long. Yeah, we just keep running around. But yeah, now that he'll be a bit faster because he's not going to be on Force March this time. Did you know Legend is a special thanks in the credits of Total One and Three? Yes, I did know that. Um, did you also know that they added everybody else before me? <laughs> And I had to remind them about ugh, four or five times that they were supposed to put me in the credits as well. So I'm not really giving them any credit for it. <laughs> they put everyone else in there before me. Oh well, who cares? It's just a credit. It doesn't mean anything. I'll put it on my resume next time I apply for a job at a, uh, job at a burger joint. <clears throat> I can't get why you're always hyping Warhammer 3 up. Um, look, I'm not really hyping Warhammer 3 up. I think there's a lot to be pretty disappointed with this game. But, you know, I do really like the game, and it's what I've based my channel around. Um, but I'm fundamentally pretty disappointed with the game. Say the best to last. Well, it's it's a long and it's it's honestly a shit story because it's it shouldn't have even been an issue. But basically, for taking part in a closed beta for Immortal Empires and providing a lot of feedback, they said that I would get a credit. And um, I didn't really care about the credit. But then what happened was after the realms of Chaos Dwarf, no no no, the Forge of Chaos Dwarfs. They put every single other YouTuber in the credits, except for me. And I was like, hang on, you said I, w I could go in the credit. And they were like, oh yeah, but that was for the Forge of the Chaos Dwarf. I'm just like, but that was, that was after <laughs> the Immortal Empire stuff. So, I don't know, I just tried to make them keep their promise. It took ages, and then they finally did it. It's not worth anything, though. Moving fast! I go! Going!
Are you hyped for Pharaoh coming out? Yay, nay. No, I'm not hyped for it at all. Not one bit. Looks like crap. The thing is, though, that the whole credit thing with Creative Assembly, that's really typical of what my whole relationship with Creative Assembly has been like. It's always, I get things after everyone else. I get, uh, or I don't get it at all. It's just always been the case for the past friggin' six years. And every single time I confront them about it, it's always ridiculous excuses. <clears throat> so I just sort of give up after a while. Honestly, they could take my name off the credits in the game, I wouldn't care. It's not like any of the feedback that I gave they listened to, they didn't listen to any of it. What do you think of Voland and his recent Total War takes? I think he's pretty much on the ball with um, a lot of the uh, his takes about Total War Pharaoh and Hyenas. Hi uh, Warhammer 3 stuff, that's another story. Um, but in terms of the Pharaoh and Hyena stuff, I think he's pretty much on the ball. Credits in Pharaoh chance? No, why would I get a credit for Pharaoh? I haven't touched it. I think they're stupid not listening to you. Look, it, it, it's, they don't have to listen to me. I don't mind them not listening to me. That's not the problem. It never was the problem. The problem was them wasting my time and lying to me. That was always the problem. Always making excuses and lying. They could have very easily just said right from the get-go, we're not going to listen to any of your feedback. They would have saved me a hundred hours. They made Reich's card faster? Yeah, they did. The poll you had held about a week ago, affirmed how I felt. The community wants another Medieval 3, no one asked for Pharaoh. Well, they're not going to necessarily make a game that people asked for, but you have to keep something in mind about Pharaoh, is that I think it was sort of... Okay. So... Pharaoh is a weird situation because it was originally planned as a DLC for Troy, but they decided to make a full game out of it. And by full game, I mean a uh, Saga game. And then they decided to drop Saga so they can make more money by selling it as a full game, but it's a Saga game. It's a Saga game in, in all ways except in name. Um, so yeah, a DLC, a $20 DLC or $30 DLC, who knows? Gets turned into a full Saga game. <laughs> Sold it more than Warhammer 3. And also, it's confirmed that it was supposed to originally be a DLC for Troy. That is 100% confirmed. This is not just me talking out my ass. I got... I got... Yeah, I've got concrete information that it was... That was the case. So, if you think about it... This isn't... I get that people want Empire 2 or Medieval 3. And the thing is, they might actually be working on that right now. This is a... Saga games are gap Total War games. Because they just can't make a massive Total War game every year. But they want to have yearly releases. So they've, they've got this weird situation where they go big Total War, small Total War, big Total War, small Total War. Big Total War being um, th three kingdoms. Then you get Troy. Then you get Warhammer 3, then you get Pharaoh, and then you get whatever the big Total War game is. Um, which, Medieval 3, Empire 2, I think that's the most likely candidates, but I'm not entirely sure. They might be calling it something different, but again, I, I, I'm not entirely sure what's going to be next. So, when they say things like, this is the next major historical Total War game, understand this, it's bullshit. Because one year from now, they're going to be announcing the next big Total War game, and it's going to make Pharaoh look like fucking nothing. 
but all of you, all, all the people that were duped into thinking it was a major historical Total War game, they've already got your money and they've had it for a year. You just don't know what they're making already. And if you think about it, it's super easy to just take Troy and then just move it to Total War Pharaoh because... Have we done enough yet? I think we can start. If I can manage to get through this, then I can get there now. Um, you know, you can use the same campaign mechanics in terms of the resources. You can use the same diplomacy mechanics. Um, you can mostly use the same battle mechanics. Mostly. I'm sure they've tweaked it a fair bit, but no. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I might actually get through there. Nope. Nope, not let me through. So, Total War Pharaoh is, like, super easy to make. Really, really easy to make. And that's the whole point of it. And it, it is also possible that they're planning a sort of Mortal Empires um, thing with Pharaoh. Where if you own Troy, then you'll get a combined map somewhere down the line. This is not confirmed, but I have heard rumors that this is the case. So... On that note as well, if you are planning on buying Pharaoh, you should try to buy it on the same platform that you bought Troy on. Unfortunately, if that's Epic, which 99% of you guys would have bought it on Epic, um, that would mean that you would have to buy it on Epic, but you're not going to get it until 2024. Because, um, yeah, you're going to have to own it on the same platform. If, if they are deciding to do that, which there's no guarantee... And it's also possible that there'll, there's a third installment of this game that hasn't yet been started on that'll be Mesopotamia. So essentially it'll be like this. If you own Troy, Pharaoh, and Mesopotamia, you will get the com you'll basically get the Bronze Age experience. But they're not being transparent about that if that is the case. And it's quite possible many people will have to buy multiple copies of a game to make sure they've got it on the same platform. Um, basically so they're double dipping. Again, I don't know if that is the case, but it seems likely because it's cheap for them to make it. And it could... Like, Troy made them bucket loads of money. They made absolutely... Raining money from Troy because they had 7.5 million downloads, which Epic Game Store uh, paid for. Now, they probably didn't pay them $50 each download. It was probably more like one or two dollars per download i don't know but i can tell you this much the budget of troy was not 7.5 million dollars there's no fucking way um so even if they got one dollar per download they made so much fucking money from troy probably more money from troy than warhammer 3 possibly again i don't know their financial situation but because there were so many down i think i'm losing my voice a bit i'm not used to live streaming this much these days um, because they, um, because they had so many downloads of Troy, I think they thought that they, they thought that Troy was good, <laughs> but it wasn't because so many people downloaded Troy and never played it. It's a free game. I've got free games on Epic that I downloaded and never played. I've got Assassin's Creed Syndicate, right? Uh, no, Assassin's, yeah, Assassin's, I've got Assassin's Creed Syndicate on my Epic Game Store account. I've never fucking played it. It was free. I fucking... Whatever. I don't care. <laughs> Epic pays for it. I, it's on my, if I ever want to play it, it's there. And that's the case with Troy. And so they make this sequel, Total War Pharaoh, thinking they're going to get 7.5 million sales when they, it's not free. I don't know what they're thinking. Or maybe they were anticipating that they were only going to sell 50,000 copies. I don't know. I just, I just don't know. <laughs> you know? I just don't know. So much of it doesn't make sense. What do you think the budget for Warhammer 3 was? Um, I don't think it was that high because they did such a bad job of it. I don't know where the budget went. They went into the siege rework. <laughs> no, look, um, Warhammer 3, one of the main things that they did with Warhammer 3 was um, update graphics for the most part. Like, they introduced like, this new lighting uh, scheme, which I reckon looks like fucking shit, by the way. <laughs> it just adds shitloads of bloom everywhere. Um, 
So I'm not sure where the budget went with Warhammer 3 or what the budget was going to be. But they definitely didn't do a good job of the, the main team didn't go, do a good job. And the reason why I can say that is because multiple modders have have said to me, or said to the community by and large, that when they were like dealing with modding Warhammer 2, it was okay, right? It wasn't perfect, it was okay. But they said Warhammer 3 was a fucking mess. Absolute mess. It was like a bunch of pigs were just eating in a trough. Which is basically the, the code for Warhammer 3. It's just a fucking mess. Which makes sense, given the state that the game's been in. And so, the DLC team has been, for the past year and a half, essentially been um, cleaning this fucking gigantic mess that was made by the main team. Apparently. Yeah, I told you this would be quicker. <clears throat> oh man, I'm, I'm losing my voice. So, in my opinion, the only thing that Creative Assembly has done, like, that's been particularly good over the past 18 months, or really even two years, has been making Immortal Empires free for people that only own Warhammer 3. That was, a, that was like, a commendable move, but at the same time, we basically had to force their hand to do it. They'll never get there in time, it's done. <laughs> yeah, that went better. See the difference you can get with two horses as opposed to one? Doing that with one horse is difficult. Doing it with two horses is easy. Have you seen the Champions of Undeath mod? I've had a, a brief look at it. I haven't looked into it too much, but it does seem to be getting a lot of hype. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll um, live stream it next time. Maybe. Hyena so gonna flop? Well, maybe, maybe. Um, I kind of hope it does flop. The thing, like looking at it, I really don't know what's gonna happen, but it does look like Creative Assembly is gonna take a big fat L with that one because the game, like the the style of the game, is just fucking cringe. It only took thirty minutes. Yeah, but I had it on force uh, force four speed the whole time. So it wasn't really 30 minutes, it was 15 minutes. Uh, I thought I'd get more than that. Right. Yeah, uh, Hyenas is a weird one, because there's another game that's coming out pretty much at the same time, maybe a little bit after Hyenas. It's called The Finals, and it just looks way better than Hyenas. Because Hyenas just looks like it's fucking cringe as hell, man. I've seen some of the gameplay of it. Who the fuck are they making this game for? Like kids? Like teenagers? Like cringy teenagers or something? Join the pack. Steal epic merch. Sega merch. You know, super valuable Sega merch. Because we all like to get all those classic Sega titles like... You know, those, those classic Sega games, you know, that you grew up with. There's Sonic, and then there's... Hang on, I'll think of another one in just a minute. What's that? What's another classic Sega game? Oh, I can't think of one. <laughs> because they're... Sonic's all they've got. Now they will see true power. You know, if it was on... If it was Nintendo, on the other hand, that's different. Sickness is despair. Did you choose that? I don't know. 
But yeah, we don't know what's going to happen. It, it could be that I'm just a boomer. And Hyenas is going to be like... This amazing game that takes the gaming industry by by storm. Who knows? I just I just don't know. Seems unlikely to me, but weirder things have happened. I mean, when we look at something like Total War Arena, that was a, actually a good game. Oh wow, I can upgrade that without without repairing that first. That's weird. Oh, I do need to repair it. Fair enough. Careful about how much we're spending. Yeah, I don't think that's worth building right now. I just, I just don't know. Like, I don't know everything. I know that for my personal tastes, that game looks like fucking garbage. But I think, I think Fortnite is garbage, and it's one of the most successful games ever. So you never know. It can't be for kids. It's rated 17. Ruffle. Well, honestly, 17 is pretty much a kid to me. By comparison. I mean, that's twice my age. Half my age. Maybe that's what they're aiming for. They're aiming for, like, young adults. I just don't know. Who knows? Let's have a look at this. I think we are boned. I'm outnumbered pretty much two to one. Yeah, fucked. I'll give it a shot. So yeah, the thing about Sega is that they do own a lot of different franchises, but none of them are like really iconic apart from um, Sonic. At least in, in my opinion, yeah. You know, people said something like um, Yakuza. Um, I don't feel like Yakuza is like. There's a couple of games in Yakuza. I think I've never played any of them, but Sonic's Sonic's been around since I was a kid. You know, you think to, like, Nintendo, as an example. You know, they've got so many iconic characters. It's night and day. And even then, <laughs> even then, they still have Sonic in the Nintendo games. Because uh, Sega sells it so cheap, by comparison. I don't know. Alright, if we hold this position over here, it's going to be completely worthless. We need to hold on to... Oh, God, this map sucks! Oh dear. Oh dear. Alright, this one here. We'll have them run out and try to get to this. We'll have to go around it, obviously. Um, see if we can get some of their missile units to chase us. What kind of towers are we able to build? Right, there'll be um, uh, like hell cannon shots. I really don't see how we're gonna win this. This map layout is really bad. Yeah, this is a good defensive position here, but in order to protect this one, I have to stand over here as well, or else they're just able to walk in here. This this map layout, even though I only have to defend this one, this is a bad map. Um, Marek Starzyuk, 
did a CZK 100 Super Chat. The future of Total War could be for medieval uh, Europe history with a touch of magic, but that's probably just my wish. Ooh, oh, no, I don't think so. No, I don't think that's going to happen. But thanks, thanks for Super Chat. But I, I do not think that's going to happen. And that's not what I want either. Yeah, I don't, think, I don't think we're gonna win this battle. I can't see any path to victory. Okay. Uh, okay, okay. I've got an idea. I don't think it's a great idea, but I'm out of options. Because if I hold a defensive position, they're just gonna bomb the crap out of me. Um, hmm. See, I could sally out here, but the problem is, by the time I kill them, these guys will have made it into the city and would have won that way. So we, we can't sally out because that won't work. There's, there's no path to victory. We sally out, it doesn't work. We hold the walls, it won't work. They'll overrun us. Because these towers aren't going to provide a whole lot of value for very long. Like, I could put these up here, and... Uh, that'll operate quite a few towers, at least. But I would need to delay them for a good amount of time. And the problem here is butt ladders. They just climb up on the walls and annihilate you. Honestly, I think butt ladders is the main reason why walls are useless. Maybe I'll go after this group here first. Is that free company militia? Okay. Hmm. Because those are mortars, aren't they? Yeah. Take out this first. What about the trolls. Alright, I'm going to have the trolls come out and try to smash this as quickly as possible. I'm not going to bother bringing in the infantry because it's just too slow. Don't worry about these guys here. I'm going to try to hold this position here as best we can. I'm going to need to put troops here. I don't have a choice. We just have to do it. Okay, yeah, really try to try to encourage them to go this way, not this way. If I put my troops here, maybe they'll just ignore that. Maybe. Alright, we'll see how this goes. Okay. I am the only constant. You can target the the units before the battle begins. those fucking cannons. I flung their souls from their bones. I have much. Because we need to be done with this in like 50 seconds. You know, you should just get back inside. Come on, come on, come 
Alright, we're definitely not going to be killing Gelt. There's no time. Dothu's going to be right on us any second now. Get out of here. And they're slow to move. That's a lot of damage onto monster units. We gotta move. We can't be here anymore. They're not getting back on the cannons, are they? Shit, how about you? Go put a stop to them. Get these back inside. Alright, well, we did a ton of damage to them pretty cheaply. Okay, now these doggos here, actually both of these doggos, actually all three of these. Let's go around and try to get at those mortars. Okay, Trolls, you actually did a pretty decent job. You get back over here. Okay, we've got some more building material. Those mortars look like they're willing to waste all of their ammunition just on this. Keep them out there. How the fuck are we supposed to kill Dothu? We got no missile units. What the fuck are they doing? Oh, they've been super stupid. Oh my god, what are they doing? Trying to open this gate, let's try to stop them. Because honestly, this is this is mega stupid. What on earth are they doing? <laughs> Good enough for another tower. Uh, there's another tower position, but I just can't quite see exactly where it goes. Uh, if I can't find good tower positions, we'll use bad ones. They look like they're going to get sorted. That section there is breakable. 
<laughs> oh wait, I just let them in. <laughs> well, they're not taking it. Alright, we're gonna lose this position here. Well, that did a, quite a lot of damage to him. Oh shit, are gonna be able to get in here? Says there's another tower, but I can't see where it is. There, this one. I don't need to go after the mortars, they've used up all their ammo for some reason. Guilt's hanging back. What are they doing? Oh my god, I might I might actually be able to win this. Maybe. It's still a big maybe, there's still a lot to deal with. We have to rely very heavily on the towers, but hey. Come on, you need to do better than that. Look what they're doing, they're dicking around. Any reason to get level 4 towers if you can? No, not really. Not really. It's just a way- if you've got like massive surplus of um... Of supplies, you can, but... We definitely aren't gonna be in a situation with massive supplies. Better to build more tier 3 towers than a couple of... So, let me put it this way. It's better to build 4 tier 3 towers than 3 tier 4 towers, if that makes sense. Because roughly the same amount of um, resources can be. Okay, if we're dealing with great swords, then we should send in marauders. Because these guys don't have armor, so their anti-armor is not going to help. And these guys are anti-armor, so we're hoping against them. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, see, they're going to use their ammunition to try to shoot at my towers. I can't believe how many units they're leaving in reserve like this. It's crazy if they think they can win with what they've just committed. It's not enough. Yeah, 
destroyed that one. And they will get through here. These towers are doing well for us. So yeah, we'll be able to rebuild that. See, if I had spent 2,000 on it, I wouldn't have this many supplies. There's a breach here that I caused, and they're still sending dryads up the walls. Obviously, something needs to be done about this. It's not too far to run back this way. Are a problem. We got problems. I would like to recap this point here, that would be good. them to kill these Glade Guard though. They're starting to advance a bit quicker now. Starting to. Marauders of Nurgle! Quickly! Sorcerer oh, Lord! This is my voice? Yeah, a little bit. Everything's going fine right over here. I could send these guys in, but I might activate them, so just, just 
just leave it for now. And we'll see how things play out. Over here. Get on! I go moving fast. Carnage. Sorcerers. I'll save it for that. The lead flood to bite. Try to destroy this again straight away. But even if it only gets one hit, it's still better than nothing. Trolls are doing a great job for us. Chaos Marauders! Sorcerer Lord! Undivided! I go! going to be most infectious. Probably. Do whatever. It does not like it does its shit that damage anyway. a troll. Man, these trolls have been really bloody handy in this battle. Feels so weird saying these trolls are handy. <laughs> you know, because they're trolls. So far, I think. How we go over here? Yeah, they destroyed it again. Sorcerer Lord. Should have sent them down there with some backup. I'm having a hard time dealing with scarier units. I'll bring them back. 
I think these ones will rally. Yeah, they've used up most of their regen and they've done a decent amount of damage. Mainly spent how much they've tanked. To reclaim this one over here. Uh, okay, the trolls have to actually go back there now. I'll send some more under there to help. And the fact that Durthu and um, Balthazar girls are hanging back like this, this is actually nuts that they're doing that. That'll help our guys out with a bit of extra leadership and melee defense. There's no one. Um, the tower's attached to that one. Still got a few units. Hanging back here in reserve as well. Seems like the main assault has ended now. Because, yeah, they've got a whole bunch of units that are just inactive. I think we might actually win this. Which is just bonkers. We should not be winning this. This should have been hopeless. Now we've got to find some way to actually kill these guys because we haven't inflicted the army losses yet. So running whatever we can off the battlefield is definitely going to help. See, we've got these units over here and I'm really worried that if I move them at all that everything else will wake up. And Durthu is a huge problem. So it would be good if we could at the very least have some more towers set up to shoot at Durthu as he's coming in, because 
Yeah, he will be able to heal using this one. Am I losing my voice? Yeah. For some reason, I'm just... <coughs> I don't know. I'm losing my voice. Don't know why. Now the wolf has the tails. Problem is it might wake them up. We don't want to wake the, these units up because this is the most dangerous units. This is why we've won so far. We're dealing with all that shit. All the easy shit. So, gain back these positions. Okay. Let's start with this one over here because if these guys attack us, that's no big deal. If we can get these guys here to just sneakily move up on the walls and have these towers shoot at them, awesome. But if they wake up and they come over here, that's fine. We're ready for them. Okay, so we've got this tower here. Let's go. Let's go full to the max with that one. That might be able to reach guilt from that distance, maybe. Yeah, everything's calming down now. But yeah, they just had a whole bunch of units being inactive. It might have something to do with these guys here. This is why I don't want to move them. I feel like if I move them, these guys will attack. But I'm not 100% sure. Because something has just failed to trigger with these guys. Alright, we've came, claimed back all of our positions. Oh, this one here is being shot at. Unfortunately, restrict camera is not letting me... There we go. And they're just letting it happen. Cool. <coughs> Shoot the mortars first. Not because they're dangerous in this battlefield. They've used up all their ammo. But so if we get rid of them now, we don't have to fight them next time. No, it's just out of reach of guilt. Oh, I see that we woke him up. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Tree man. I can't select it properly. Oh, no. These have woken up too. Alright, I'm going to need you to come in. Alright, they're awake now. They're all awake. Why the fuck is oh, such, a, such a stupid tower placement? They should just be able to charge at that, no problem. I don't think that Gilt has used up all of his magic yet, so that's going to be a bit of an issue. But it looks like we'll be dealing with Gilt before... Here's a problem. It's good this one's doing some damage to it, but yeah, we're going to lose that position, I think. I'm going to come over here and just try to hold on to it a little bit longer. Maybe Guilt will overcast some more spells on them. Maybe. They're just too late. Come on, move out of the way. You gotta move faster. Oh, 
needs to go and recap this point here. This Dirth is lagging behind, so that's good. Got to be mindful of Gelt because he's probably going to pop down more bombs. Because it only costs him four wins of magic. This one over here, so it gets no, no, you stay there, you stay there. I'm glad this tree man here is dicking around a lot. That is good. Like Gelt got hit, so that's good. Alright, send the low armored units down over here. And these two need to go and fight Gelt. Losing this position here is not really going to hurt that much. I got loads of supplies, and. Let's see. Where's the other one? Yes, this area is sacred. I gotta get rid of that guilt. Magic. I'm glad he didn't attack us at the beginning of the battle. He would have ripped through us butter. Dirth is coming as well. I'm supposed to feel about that. Okay, bring these guys back in. You guys hang up over here. Just, just come over here this way. Problem here is that these single entities are very difficult for us to deal with. We just don't have good tools for them. Just bring them back over here. But that should be mostly dodged. Mostly. Durthu is also flock of doom. Yeah, I know, I know. I don't know what we're gonna do about Durthu. I'm, I'm hoping the army lost him. Guilt is getting hit a fair bit with his own bloody spells. But he's taking too much damage. Need him. Kill for an army loss penalty on guilt or something right now. Hero. 
And yeah, really impl important right now that we don't blob up. Okay. I need to go and recap points. It's good this guy's finally dying. Hopefully they've used up some magic with this one. So maybe Dorothy doesn't even have any magic left. That'd be good. Kill him. I am exalted. Because even if we lose this, we're killing him. Oh my god, are you, are you kidding me? <laughs> Jeez, he's gonna get away. Alright, we got these guys coming in. Just let the towers do it as much as possible and just try to. He's coming back. What an idiot. Go for the tree kin first where possible. Just try to mm, their speed is higher than ours. At least they're exhausted. Of guilt. Drag us to the souls. Give us carnage. Exalted hero. Now. God damn, this is close. This will really help me out. Bit of leadership can go a long way. They don't seem to be using their magic. No friendly fire from that. Don't need to worry about that. You get in there, kill this one. Come on. I need I'm gonna need to bring someone over here. Come on. I need to bring you over here. <laughs> There's not much left. Army ability? I used it. What are you talking about? Send these cavalry here to just like piss off Gilt or something. Because if we ever look at this, I think Gilt is a little bit better of a fighter than this guy. Then again, he just got hit. So, yeah. Well, how about you keep Dirthu running this way? Got him. Okay, well, I think they actually fought to the death. They have literally nothing left. Move on there. 
them! Bring us to carnage! Marauder horsemen! No, at least doing damage to him. I gotta, I gotta try to lure Durthu away. Get them! Quick! Run! That's it. More this way, Durthu. This way. Yes! Oh my god, it's on skirmish mode. Scatter. How many of these fireballs does he have? One left. Exalted hero! Faster! God's bloody glory! For all your horsemen! See how much trouble my guys are having against one tree man over here? Imagine what it's like going up against Durfu. He's like, oh, infinitely better stats. Not infinitely, but a lot better. Although these hits, they're, they're doing stuff. This is good, we've lured him away a fair bit. Is Dirth unbreakable? No. Music. Dirty goodness, well, I don't think he's got any wins of magic left. This tower's hero working on magic. Try axe. Uh, they're not anti large. I don't see how that would do anything. Anyway, I got my axes in there. Charge! Now! Bring us to carnage! Okay, we can still have a few more though. These guys aren't ready to break just yet. I've still got other fast units. I should lure Durthu through to an area where there's just like shitloads of crossfire. Yeah, like right over here. What? No! <laughs> He's so distracted. Get this this way, Durthu, this way. And lure you over here. Alright, that tree man's going down. I think I got this. <laughs> I really didn't think I was going to win it. I think he'll get army lost fairly soon. I think he will leave the battlefield. I was not expecting a win here. Are the 1400 ones more accurate? Um, pretty sure it's the same accuracy. Got him. Did we get the uh, other tree man? I don't see him, so he must be dead. Oh my god, we did it. It'd be great if we could actually wound him, but I, I don't think this is going to work. Yeah, have doggos nip at his heel. He's too close to the edge of the map here. Oh, hang on. That's a bucket load of damage. Terrified. Come on. It's a scaredy cat tree. Oh man, we're gonna take him out. Now, I think it's fair to say that this victory was all my doing and my genius. It had nothing to do with the fact that the AI was brain dead for half the battle. <laughs> I'm taking full credit for this. I'm just kidding. No, it was obviously bad AI there. All all they had to do was just all out attack. They could have sent their archers and everything into melee and they would have won.
But they left Durthu until the very end. It was stupid. Sami Ratilanan did a two euro super chat. When in doubt, always trust AI stupidity. Yeah. I'll tell you what, the other day in um, that battle at Helmgart, I don't know. It was a fort, Empire Fort against um, um, Heinrich Kemmler. I wish he had been that stupid. Dead to the last freaking man. Both armies. Yeah, I'll take the money. And look, yeah, they don't have any siege attackers just going around it now. Grunberg is worth nothing. And it's, yeah, it's just full of trash. They used all their best units. That was Gelt's starting army. That was a tough battle against Kembla. Yeah, and the thing is with it is that the AI didn't do anything stupid during the battle. Particularly stupid, which is usually what I count on. <laughs> this is tough. My company is not Declaring war on me? Oh, okay. Alright, I'm gonna wrap up the stream now, because I feel like after that victory, I deserve a break. Does anyone want to hot seat it? Is there any live, stream, live streamers out there that wants to, like, that wants to continue this? Nah, fuck that. Is there, is there anyone that wants to hot seat this? Just check in the chat to see if, you know, if there's a another YouTuber that might want to pick it up and live stream it. Because I'll give you a raid if, if you do. Otherwise, I'll just pick someone at random. That's just embarrassing for CA. Yeah, well, you know, what else is new? All right, let's go check a host over someone. So I'll have a look at what's uh, who's available. Man, I'm really freaking tired. I'm not used to streaming this regularly anymore, especially at this time. All right, let's chuck the host over to... Let's chuck it over to Radiant Ash because she wasn't able to take part in the hot seat, but she really wanted to. We'll try to get her into the next one. And she's playing as Skarsnik by the look of it. Let me just get the raid set up. I'm gonna take a moment. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. I had fun, but you know, I'm tired. <laughs> so I need, need to get some rest. Really appreciate all the support. And I will see you soon. I'm probably not gonna live stream tomorrow. Um, but maybe the day after we'll try to do, get another hot seat going. But we'll see. Th these things can be um, difficult to organize. Anyway, that's the end of this one. Appreciate you guys, and I'll see you next time. Later, guys.